What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bite Podcast, man. The, uh, what we call this shit? The Out of Pocket Motherfucker Edition, dog. Uh, episode 99, dog. 90, 99? Hell yeah. Okay. okay. Nin- man, That's one episode up. away from 100, dog. So, you already know, y'all ain't seen these faces in about a good, a good year. About a year and some change, man. Got the homie uh, Chase West in the building. What's up, everybody? Got motherfucking cheesy and champion this motherfucker, dog. What's cracking? What's cracking? What's the deal? Y'all smooth? Good. Now, a lot of times, you know, with a lot of podcasts, I be hearing, like, music being played, the intro and stuff like that. So I was at the crib thinking, like, damn, should I play some Boosie? Should I play some T.I.G.? Definitely and shit? some Boosie. But no, it's like, I want, it's a, <laughs> That's it, that nigga. It's, not, it's episode 99, so it's like an appreciation type of day, right? Like, so, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be salute, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to start off with a little bit of, uh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, just kidding. <laughs> this uh, my, oh. my nigga Cheesy a champ, dog. He fucked me up. I ain't, I ain't know he was gonna do this shit for real. <laughs> we gotta so get my. You, <laughs> you know I would. Damn, I would rap this bitch. Yeah, I don't know if I know it. it. Yeah, we, I got, know it. Huh, huh, we gotta get my nigga out of retirement, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then the limousine Think they in the Medellin Call her Billy Jean These hoes ain't shit I know first hand I take a nigga to see God Oh, you switching up? Oh, he on some DJ, DJ Envy type shit You know what I'm saying? What's this? Don't care if you think You ain't Free my nigga Key Rail I'ma scream it and shout it Until the day I die With my click I'ma ride I used to say bitch a lot of my music. I feel bad hearing that shit now, though. I ain't gonna lie. I got a daughter and shit, man. I cut, I calm down on the bitches. No, this is the beginning. Say it, say the word. Like a cyclone. Episode 99, man. Now it's crazy. I don't even know my own shit. Like, I, it's like I'm on the spot. Like, damn, I would expect you weren't ready. You hey, ready. hey, he could have gave you a hoop. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to play some of your shit. You gotta like, stay damn. ready, so you ain't gotta get ready. You know, shoot that, shoot that. No excuses. You know what I'm saying? We got lacking. This is appreciation, y'all, for my nigga Cheese, dog. Try to get this nigga out of retirement, man. Him up on social media, even though he ain't got social media. <laughs> you got him. no social media? Nah. He said email him. Email him. Yeah, I got an email. Hell yeah. You gotta have that. I got an email for sure, for sure. Uh, what you used to call him next tail chirper? Dude. Still number one, you gon' remain. Real niggas know that your family comes first when they gon' tape their name and put your face on the shirt. Any and all cars still riding by your side even when the wheels fall off. You ever need a crutch, nigga, lean on me. I jump in front of the gun and put the beam on me. I'll be there in a hurry and I would never ever hesitate to get a nigga buried. For you, I get him dead. For you. And I ain't bragging cause that's just how I be. And I ain't tripping cause I know you do the same exact shit for me. This last song, Bust dog. a couple nuts, <laughs> didn't do it because I'm done with her. Asshole with a capital A. Niggas like beepers was popping back in the day. Hey, bon appetit, then it's time to chow down and eat. I do a lot of flossing, but not with my teeth. I'm too cold, ice cream, call me two scoops. Them funny guys like to play around in Duke shoots. I shoot hoops, Ooh. fruit juice with a loose goose. Kids say my chain look like fruit loops. I had a dream, I was broken, it was very scary. Niggas be acting like girls better than Tyler Perry. Oh, when the drama was over, like it's the best dress I'm considered the best dress Too much sex, I need a break for two weeks So much brain, I'm feeling smarter than two geeks Escorts through the city like the president Opportunity knocking, why the hell you hesitant? We carry guns like cowboys in the wild west <laughs> Sneeze during birth, look at me now, how blessed Silence of the lands when I click clack Them niggas broke in the cast, couldn't fix that Okay. Hell yeah, dog. So yeah, I was at the crib <laughs> Alright, how can I start this shit off and throw these, throw these niggas off Especially cheese, dog, so Put a little shit together, dog. My nigga Cheesy and Champ, dog. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Hey, I wouldn't expect that. I, I, I'm thinking it's still the norm. Dog, you know, I kind of switch up sometimes, dog. Now, uh, you already know, dog. We always start off everything with a salute, but on this episode, you can salute anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be a kid, your girl, whatever, your moms, your pops, anybody, your, your dude, anything. So, I start off, I'm going to salute my, my, my son and my daughter, dog. My son be 15 tomorrow. My daughter be one on Wednesday. Big age gap, crazy as hell. But <laughs> that's my, my little nigga dog starting to feel himself a little bit wearing cologne and shit. Got a little girlfriend and shit hooping. So it's funny. I'm like looking at this nigga like, damn, that's how I used to be. 
going to school, make sure you dress right. Ain't no wrinkles in your clothes and shit, dog. So I feel you on uh, not to uh, cut you off. You could do your salute next. No, no, you go ahead because I'm not ready. Me neither. You know, yeah, well, I'm not ready. Right, I ain't uh, ready for shit. I'm <laughs> fucked up. I'm gonna salute my dog Quincy because he's the best producer in the world. What'd you say, producer of the year? Oh yeah, producer of the year. Okay, for setting these cameras up so nice for me. All right, <laughs> want to appreciate him today. But right, see, look, just for you. Just the, for you. The, the year almost over. Just so for next me. year. You have to say, like, nigga, producer of the year again, or you might as well say, nigga, producer of the decade, producer of the century. That's what I was yeah, trying yeah. to think of that word, producer decade. Producer of all time, nigga, <laughs> fuck yeah, it. You yeah, have to add on to that because the year almost over. Fuck all it. time. So, hell yeah, hell yeah. So, that's, so yeah, we shout out my kids. You shout out Q, dog. Who you got, uh, Cheese, man? Man, I ain't trying to fuck y'all up, but on some real shit, man, I got to salute God, dog. Oh, oh yeah, sure. that's what I should say. I, I ain't mean to say shit and God in the same sentence. I did it again. My bad. We feel you. Mm. But man, I got to salute right. God, dog. God, real. Oh real, yeah, for, for sure. Real. In a real way. Yeah, yeah, real. Real. I, I, I concur in a real way. Cause we could be out this motherfucking shit, dog. Anytime we can walk out the door, knock on wood. But yeah, I got you. Got to thank the, thank the man every day, man. That you still alive. Cause there's a lot of people who don't shit. Don't be. You know what I'm saying? See and then on, on top of that, being alive, like. Okay, you alive, but are you living? Are you doing something? Are you productive? Yeah. Like, sh- man, I, see, I'm, I'm trying not to cuss when I'm talking to God or talking about God, but, yeah. man, he, he got me through a lot of stuff. No, no, for a sure. A lot of stuff. For sure. For sure. Well, no, people feel like people feel like they're alive, but they really not living. Like, that's saying a lot. Like, every day, a lot of people, they're waking up trying to pursue something that they want to achieve for tomorrow, never enjoying the moment. Like, mm-hmm. you know, right in this moment. Like, right now, me and Quincy was talking about this the other day or whatever. Like, you know, what is somebody doing right now? Like, right now, we sit here healthy. We yeah, kicking yeah. it. We having our little TV show, whatever. Right. You know, we enjoying our day. We got love around us. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You got to go home to your son. Your son there, he good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody right now going through something real, real, real fucked up. But we, yeah. we not them people. So, we blessed. Right. We super somebody blessed. right now who motherfucking watching Pornhub and they Wi-Fi connection just went out. That's crazy. <laughs> it's really happening right now. That's happening. It's facts. It's unfortunate. <laughs> no, I My done. bad. You know, I, I gotta bring a little humor to it because I feel yeah. like I brought the seriousness to the road, but then I gotta, I gotta balance it out. You know what I'm saying? No, definitely. Hey, no, it's, it's, cool. it's funny, dog, because you know I can always. That shit happen to you? No, oh. but no. What happened when you search for the Pornhub too long? You be on page 59. What? Hey, you like, we, we, we talked about that. Yeah. Like, you, search- you, you ain't got nothing in mind. You just like, let me just see what they talk about. So you just hit next, hit next. That's how you get to see all that weird shit, for real, for real. For sure. but, see, I don't watch porn, so I don't know. Man. Like, I, let, I literally don't watch it. No, Pornhub be going crazy, man. Be going crazy as hell. Hey, man, well, since we going off that shit, do you think it's easier now to get ass than it was back in the day? Yes. Yes, everything is easier now. Everything is easier now. It's easier to get money. It's easier to get famous. It's easier to get mm-hmm. girls. It's uh, easier to get girls to fuck with you. Mm-hmm. It's easier to get to see a woman butt naked because it's right there online. Yeah, everything sure. is easy access. Yeah. And that's why relationships don't last. Friendships. People don't keep their jobs. People don't stay in marriages because everything, I can change it just like that. Hell, that's, that's fast. No, it's fast because everything, like as far as like on the girl tip, it used to be like a hassle or a struggle to be able to get on the chick or whatever. Like you had to go through something, you had to take her out, you had to, you know what I'm saying, prove yourself basically. Now, yeah. you send a DM or an inbox to the Man. motherfucker and you and them drawers. Shit, drugs not even that, like. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I, I ain't got social media no more, but shit, I was on there. I know how I go. Like, man, you could just fucking like a string of pictures and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden that's going to get her attention. Like, it's, it's one o'clock in the morning. He just liked all these back to back. But yeah. I, what I used, because I used to do that, but. When I did that shit, what I used to hate, it'd be a bitch ass nigga come behind me trying to like a picture. Like, boy, get your bitch ass out of here. Uh-oh. But that's that's old shit. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, but that shit fuck up a lot of shit. I feel like the internet, it's a gift and it's a curse. You know what I'm saying? For Man, the simple yeah. fact of the matter. Like, you could you could be on a job interview, mm-hmm. fucking suit and tie. Waist down, you just got your drawers on and shit. Ain't nobody gonna fucking know yeah. as long as you don't fucking stand up. <laughs> like, like, yeah, with that yeah, type of yeah. shit. Like no, you ain't gotta get sure. out too yeah. bad. You could you could just fill out all these applications and send them off instead of I'm finna go up here. I'm, I'm gonna wait for the call back. Yeah. Like, and see, and that's exactly what it is. You giving people what you want them to perceive about you yeah, when you sure. on the internet. Like yeah, yeah. whether you on camera doing the Zoom interview, half naked, don't nobody yeah. know, 
or you on the internet fronting like your life is perfect and you really fucked up, right, or you right, on right. the internet acting like you got all this money and you really down bad. Whatever yeah. the, the case may be, people put on an image, so they want you to perceive this. So that's why you take a picture four or five times for you put the one online. Because yeah. want, I want you to see me in that light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want you to see this. And that's what it is. And that's why it's so fake. That's why that's why I said stuff don't last. Yeah. It's like... It don't last. It's, Motherfuckers it's weird caught up in the hype. Yeah. Like yeah. That, that shit like thinking the grass greener on the other side. It's not. That, that shit real. Like, yeah. motherfucker be like, you'll think that shit. And then you go to the other side, you be like, damn. The grass greener where you water it, period. Yeah, for sure. Hey, but yeah, social media will have, have you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah. like another good thing about it, like back in the day, because we all, we all in the same age bracket and for shit. Sure. Man, y'all remember we in school and shit, we get book reports. We got to go to the library. No, nigga, yeah. what? We got to motherfucking read encyclopedias. Nah, Dad, you can just go on Google and type in what you need and then pull from there, pull from there, pull from there, put it together. These are all my words. Done. Yeah, Bop. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Too easy. Man, then you had to do research, nigga. Like, you had to go, what was that shit called when you, uh, bibliography, dog? We had to prove and state where you get, where you got your Types information from. Types of sources from. type yeah. shit. Yeah, so you'd be at paragraph five, Page 10, nigga, like, hey, yeah. not nah, nowadays, nah, niggas call those receipts. Yeah, duh. receipts, yeah. Duh. Exactly. <laughs> they call them receipts. You had to really show where you found your work at, man. Like, I think now it's, it's easier for motherfuckers, dog. Like, not even with relationships, not even with life. Like, it's just a whole lot easier than back then. You had to do shit. Just think about, like, when you want to know what your friend was doing, nigga, like, we ride our bikes at our friend's house or some shit. Just pull up. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to call on the phone. If your phone, hey, and if then, your mama on the phone too long, that niggas can't get through look, and shit. Look, you, you knew what everybody on the block was because yeah. that's the house that had all the bikes in the front. Like, yeah. all them niggas at Craig house. You know what I'm saying? I know you love talking about Craig and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's how you know everybody was at. Hell yeah. All right, nigga, we'll pull up to a chick house, nigga, 10 deep, nigga, on bikes, like... One yeah. nigga for for to see, I mean, it'd be ten niggas just to see one girl. Like, we, you gotta have your boy and you ain't with smashing shit. or hitting, you just going over real quick. No, like, some, old, some old kid shit. Yeah. And then, like, the, the parents wasn't even tripping because they knew one shit up like that. Like, yeah. you know, that's just little Ronnie from down the street. Dog. And now it's not like that. No, I remember nah. the first time I, uh, we played house and I finally got to be a dad. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, motherfucker, <laughs> like, like six, dog, Dominique, dog. My mom caught me kissing Dominique. And I got scared as fucking ran away, though. Like you ran from home? No, I ran from my mama. Oh, like cause I, she seen me. Oh, how old was you? I was six. <laughs> he was six. Oh, he was six. Shit. I was six. I got the book and like, oh shit, my mom see me kiss this girl. She probably ain't care. She didn't, but at the time I was like, dog, I was embarrassed. A lot of was over for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm like, dog, my mind, call me kissing Dominique, dog. Man, child, my child was the shit, dog. Like, talk on it, man. I was one of them niggas that that motherfucking was trying to be too grown and I mean I got in trouble but I ain't getting like jail trouble. I gotta yeah, get yeah, my ass. Shit, when you say childhood, you talking about like a kid or teenager? Uh shit, all that both. shit. All yeah, that, but okay. ma mainly mainly kids shit like Was your parents in the house together? Yeah. See, it's look at that man. That's what's up, man. I, see, I mean they, they end up separating down the line. Yeah. And that, that but shit. But you hurt. had it in the house though. You yeah, know that's what how saying? my mom and dad was I was about Eleven or twelve. Yeah, about nine for me. No, my mom and my daddy split up. I, was, I think I was six. Yeah, but I did you still have six. a good rapport with both of them? To this day, with my no, mom I'm and my about dad. When they, when they split. Um, I mean, me personally, you know, what I'm saying my relationships with my parents was it was okay. I mean, I would say that for both of them, really, because living with my mama while she going through the breakup, mm -hmm. and then my dad, he off doing what he doing. You know what I'm saying? It. It was. You think that no, messed you up down the line? It wasn't line? You huh? think that messed you up down the line as part of relationships? Yes. What what it do to you? Man, you want me to sit here and evaluate myself? No, like, like, all these <laughs> like for real, because a lot of times we look at relationships, man, yeah. and we kind of like go off of what we saw growing up. Like most people, you think about it, people who be like in successful marriages and relationships, they was around that shit growing up. And then niggas who was seeing like single mom, single dads and shit like that, they kind of grew up in take that, you know what I'm saying, take that role and it don't trust nobody because they, they yeah. ain't seeing shit in the crib. I mean, I'm going to say this. I be If I'm being completely honest, it kind of exactly taught me that not to trust nobody. Mm -hmm. And I don't because it's like things could change in a matter of seconds. Like, you don't know when your life going to change. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I didn't have no control over it, but now I do got control over my situations. I do not trust people. And I'm always two steps ahead because I'm always looking to see what could happen in the distance. I'm always trying to read people intentionally, like, you know, 
I'm trying to hear everything you're not saying because it's. I feel like it's always something that could pop up. Yeah. So I'm always ready. It's a. It's think, a defense mechanism. Do it take a lot for you, for, for you like trust somebody? Yeah. I don't trust people. Yeah. Mm, I don't trust I nobody. I think that's natural because I don't. I don't. I don't trust yeah. nobody. I trust you, like nobody. I'm talking about nobody. Yeah. Plus, I trust I, people to be them. That's it. I and trust. And like I, I ain't no like I'm. I'm cool as fuck. Like, but I'm not a friendly ass nigga. Like I'm not gonna go out and. Go to the park. Hey, 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 Brian. Hey, Dave. Hey, come on. Yeah. Like, I see, like, right. I, I don't know them niggas, so I'm I don't fuck feel with like them I'm niggas. not that social. Like, I don't know them like that. No. Nah. I, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I've been opposite. Like, I'm always a friendly ass nigga. Like, I talk to everybody when I come in that bitch in the, in the, in the party. I say, I'm, I'm trying to talk to everybody. What up? What up? What up? And my wife was like, dog, how, like, that's something she got that she don't have that I have. Yeah. She's like, dog, you just be comfortable just talking to niggas? Like, no, but I make myself, I kind of make I, myself I do it. I be on some standoff and shit till I feel like, okay, that motherfucker cool. But I don't come off as no asshole. Like, if a motherfucker yeah, speak right. to me, I'm like, oh, what yeah. up, though? I'm like that. I'm more like that. Like, I'm, I'm going to always be cordial, but, like, to just start kicking new people randomly, I don't too much do that. I need to feel people out. Like, I just told y'all I don't trust nobody. I ain't about to just start tapping in with you, like, hey, da-da-da. And I'm not the type of person that just like to randomly talk about random stuff with somebody. Like, Hell no. how's I, the weather? I like, do I ain't that. that. <laughs> I ain't finna do it. No. Just, just to have conversations like shit. We can sit there quiet like. But you need them, you need them <laughs> skills Nigga, in the know, business you, world. Yeah. You need them skills. Yeah, like, I, I ain't like, saying what I, how I move is right. You know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. like, it's, it's me. No, it's a I'm lot of shit this, I need I'm to fucking shake about you. myself. Yeah. Man, so we, this all came up for y'all talking about, we talking about relationships, man. How many, how many real relationships y'all been in like throughout y'all life? Like some real, some real shit. Oh, I can... And like, and like, would you ever to blame for them motherfuckers? So, okay, look, on some real shit, like, like some real relationship shit, like, do we do we count the kids shit? Cause like, even though you was a kid, like, uh, nigga, you did have those emotions, like, nigga, when I used to take the little motherfucking note and I write, do you want to go with me? <laughs> you circle yes, circle no. I ain't put the maybe on there. Fuck mm -hmm. the maybe. It's, it's a yes or no. Nigga, I maybe you ain't fuck with me. But yeah, basically, but <laughs> I I think you you do include that kid shit, cause that shit. I feel well, like see, that's starting like, start to build you up to what you yeah. think love is. Yeah. And how you respond to, to disappointment, to, to happiness, and to excitement, and to new things. Yeah. I think that it do. So, I, but yeah. you talk about real like on some grown up shit, then that's a different ball game. Yeah, see, my, teenage, so how many you had then? Ain't that the question? Yeah. Um, I mean, I had four real relationships. Four? Yeah. I know two for sure. Two? Two for sure. Let me let me let me think yeah. if I want to count the other ones. Cause I'm trying to think of the guidelines. Like what's the guidelines we're going by? So all right, so we, that's, you go off. That'd you, be three. Y'all like to be time like more than a couple years. Fuck, I'm gonna go off of if I like if I was in a it's gonna sound fucked up. What? I'm about to say if I was in a relationship and I really liked the girl, but I ain't mean it like that. But cause I'm, I'm talking about some young shit, not grown. Yeah. Like I'm talking about teenage and motherfucking elementary. My first relationship, dog, I was 13. We broke up at 19. You was what? 13. We broke up when I was 19. How was you with somebody for seven years and 13 years old? What? No, no, no. We was together. We yeah, from 13 to 19. And we we broke up. Like, it'd be like a month or two. Quincy knows she is. Uh, we, we, we'd break up. Like, we met because my uh, my stepbrother, Chu, was talking to her sister. Uh -huh. And then her sister was like, hey, uh, you, got, you got a cute little brother. I'm going hook to him hook him up with my sister. And then she, she went to one of my basketball games, and it was all she wrote. That was that your first love? That was like the first person you had sex with? Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you put that nigga in the hot seat. Oh shit! I, you know, you know what? what? <laughs> we talk about that off hey, camera. Hey, look here. Bro. Okay, we can talk hey. about flying. So look, so that look, nigga took a drink kind of like, oh <laughs> shit, huh? So look, so look, that was my first relationship, the 16, 19. Yeah. Then I got my son, mom, right after because okay. I'm talking about. Well, it was kind of like at the same time. Oh, okay. Because she was going to school in Florida. So yeah. that so you had two girlfriends? Yeah, so okay, that, that yeah. relationship lasted you. for about a hot five years. A then, hot five years? Ain't yeah. no hot five. Okay, and well, then, uh, And then it was like my rebound relationship. That was my relationship to get over her. That was a fucked up relationship. That was like, that was terrible. That was, a, that uh -huh. was some terrible shit. Then I'm in the one I'm in. Now nah, I'm married now, so. I, uh, I, I was always wondering, like, do, 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 like, niggas have rebound chicks? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like I know niggas have side chicks, yeah, yeah. allegedly, but allegedly. like like rebound chicks. Like say yeah. for instance, like okay, like how like when a woman she get hurt and yeah. she like get into another, she start fucking with a dude. He just like on some rebound shit. I'm like trying to think like do us dudes do that? I'm trying to think. I when you a, get hurt and yeah. then go find somebody to mess with, yeah, you yeah. Or, yeah. In my situation, my son and mom had moved on pretty quick, so I was like fuck, I can do the same shit. Jay Z so, said that when yeah. you blue, you got nothing to do. Heading to the party life. Didn't he say that on that song? 
Mm-hmm. So you say, <laughs> but for real, that's exactly what it is. You go out there, and you, you get busy. He, did you say, find he said, new. "I can't see him coming down my eyes, so I gotta make the song cry." No, that's one so of my favorite. He Jay-Z releases songs. his pain in some type of way, so I believe that me. Hey, you gotta get that pain sure. out. You got to. Yeah. But wait, let me let up. me answer. How many right. how many relationships I had? Like I would say for sure, like I'll say five. Like for real. Because I always had a, I always had a boyfriend. Like I don't know why it's just random, but I always had a boyfriend. So relationships, like for real ones, two. Two. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, would you ever have fought for them relationships not lasting? Well, did I fight for them not no, lasting? Would you ever have fought for them not for them not lasting? Well, no. I mean, cur- I'm in still one currently, okay. and the other one that no, it wasn't my fault. Okay. No, it wasn't my fault at all. What about, what about you, Cheese, man? I mean, See, real, I know, as okay, as an adult. I mean, relationships you've been in? As an adult, too, for sure. But then it's like teenager, little kids, that number get tricky. Because yeah. I definitely did have girlfriends and shit, but yeah. it's like, damn, am I counting those? Yeah. Even though it was a relationship, but like. I mean, I would say probably from, from like, from at least like ninth grade up. Like, because anything below that, you like just. Yeah, yeah, just like some old bull. Yeah, okay. it's like play, play. Okay, ninth grade up, then, boom. That's another two. Uh. <laughs> so my first relationship oh, I had in high school, I feel like that relationship kind of molded me to how I treated every man after that. What you do? But no, but like, cause look, it fucked with my head, and I had to get on top of that. I couldn't let Ooh. that go too far. Damn. Yeah, but that's okay, cause I maintain. Yeah. That's why I'm a G to this day. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> oh, so he messed you up. Yes. Yeah, he turned you to savage Yeah, mode. he had me out. He had me out here messed up. I had to figure life out, like at, at sixteen. Yeah. Seriously. Damn. And I think every every chick got messed up by a nigga, and I think every nigga got messed up by a chick, whether we yeah. admit it or not. Y'all be taking stuff too serious. Like some people got emotions that got hurt back in elementary school that should not even be a factor. But see, like n- niggas different. Like it's uh, like I'm talking about you. <laughs> Nick, niggas different on some real shit. Like, like, like on some then like women, y'all be stronger than us. It's like do we? Hell yeah, cause it's like y'all y'all get your heart broke, and then y'all still be like, okay, I'm still looking for love. With a lot of niggas, once we get our shit broke one time, we could be two years fucking old. We get our shit broke at two we and Tyler. We like, oh fuck this shit. I ain't, <laughs> I, ain't crazy. I ain't never settled down. Oh, I'm savage mode for life. Yeah, That's yeah. how a lot of niggas mentality is. No, it's sure. wrong. Right. But that's how a lot of shit is. I'm like, clear on that. As I got older, I realized the man of a man is so different. Yeah, for sure. From a woman, like hey. I sympathize with y'all. I just want y'all to know that What's we the, fucked up. We need help. <laughs> we hurting in the inside. Yeah, mm. yeah. What, what, but, what y'all think worse, man? Can y'all pass you that? Uh, we, uh, yeah. But staying on, like, I, I guess just kind of like similar to relationships, dog. But what's worse, a toxic mom or a deadbeat dad? A toxic mom. Yeah, because he. She, why, why, explain why. Cause I, I, I agree with you, but like, because a lot of times a toxic mom could come from a situation where she been fucked up all her life and she feeding that energy to her daughter and her daughter carry that shit on to. A toxic mom is worse because nine times out of ten, the child is with the mama. Mm-hmm. And if that mama mm-hmm. is, is toxic and she Thanks. and she not even trying to instill that negativity into her child, she's doing it unknowingly. Mm-hmm. And it's happening daily on whatever level or whatever situation is going on. Mm-hmm. With her toxicity, it's mm-hmm. affecting that child. Yeah. Now, dad being absent definitely has an effect, but it's an absence there. So you really don't know what you're missing or what you could be getting. Mm-hmm. It's like a question mark. But that toxicity is solidified. Mm-hmm. That's that's worse. It's worse. I say I, I agree with you and stuff, but like with dad be dad, that can that can be that can do something to a dude too though. Cause like if your dad not around, you you never really like been presented a way to raise your kids, how to treat a woman, mm-hmm. so you don't know shit. Then sometimes you could be getting game from the wrong person, and then you grow up, you grow up fucking women over and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So that can be a fucked up. Yeah, I, I say, I say, I agree like a dad be dad. Mm-hmm. Like, in a present, it's like, man. okay, cool, he ain't in the picture. Fuck him. Mm-hmm. But like, that shit, the, the daddy being absent can affect the kid in the future. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a toxic, uh, the toxic, toxic mama, mama can affect the kid yeah, in the no, future. They both too. fucked up. They both you fucked really up. Think when you it's really, really think not about like it, a right or wrong. Up. It's like the, it's like it's like six of one, half a dozen of the other for real. What do like, you think is more of? Same thing. What? What to- you mean? Toxic moms or daddy dads? I think it's an even Steven. Yeah. Because I'm looking cause at because mamas be toxic because of the daddies being absent. They be getting yeah. to go because I. Speaking from personal experience, like my parents wasn't together when I grew up or whatever. So my mom like went through basically like a depression at my expense because it's me and her there. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm watching her go through this. I'm like, ain't. And in my mind, I made my mind up as it like before I was like seven or eight. I was like, I ain't never gonna have no man let me sit on no couch sleep all day. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I ain't never doing it. I ain't never did it. Yeah. No, you got. I get you get you get a day. You get your little day and yeah. you move on. Like you get a few days even if you need them. But you gotta get your ass up. Like no. Yeah. So you watching your parent, your mom go through that. Because most of the time when the mom is toxic, it's because she wants a relationship with the father or, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, the mom could be on drugs. It could be way worse circumstances. Yeah. But that that's that right there is a mess. And then the dad just not being there at all, that's a void that you're filling with something else of some yeah, sort. Yeah, yeah. Some, some could be good, it's some could be dark bad. dark either way. It Shit, my, uh, my parents uh, split up. Maybe I'm too young to remember, but I don't recall, like, my OG being fucked up about it. If anything... That shit made my OG like step her game up and just like go above and beyond. Not saying my old dude was a slouch or nothing. Well, how, I still how old was you when they split up? I was nine. Nine. Nah, that no shit fucked me up. I was crying I was and shit. But I still had a good report. Both of my parents, like, right. granted, I stayed with my OG and she provided for us. You right. know what I'm saying? But still went to my old dude. Like, I'm old but dude, you had a nigga. good experience. See, your mama, she bossed up and she did what she had to do. And that showed you what a woman supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Some, people, some people have, have a way different experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The experience is much different. Yeah. My mama the shit. And, see, my, and my mama never talked yeah. down on my dad, like, to make me feel any type no, of way. No, she ain't never did that you know shit what I'm saying? Yeah. So it wasn't like I was like, oh, yeah, fuck my dad because my mom said this or whatever. Like, they were just like, they broke up. Shit, nigga, it wasn't. My dad, he didn't want her to break up, break up with him. Like, he was mad as fuck when she left. But nigga, my dad was on some bullshit. My dad was losing jobs, quitting jobs, not giving a fuck. And then it was crazy. Like, fuck like that. My, old, my grandma, she passed away and shit. But my grandma, that's my old dude, mama. Mm. Like I'd be talking to her, and even she'd be like, she was like, yeah, your daddy messed up. Yeah. He let it. He, he he. Your mama a great woman. Let me know him. Fuck. He should not say fucked it up, but she said yeah. he messed it up. I'm just like, dang, for her to say that about her own son. Yeah. Which is real shit. She wasn't down on my number. She but was she just saying like. That's like, a good mama to even recognize that in her son and say something. Because I'm going to tell you with some mamas out here in these streets that campaign for their son's wrongdoings all the time. It's a yeah. dirty game. <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. For sure. How, stay on parents. How y'all as parents? We all got kids in here. How am I as a parent? Yeah, do you feel like you a good parent? Like, do you, you yes. like, it's some shit you... I can say that much honestly, yes. All right, what's some shit, all right, fuck that. What's some shit that you need to fix as a parent? Um, I need to listen to my daughter. Well, I need to be more patient and let, like, really get more interested in the things that she wants to do because I try to bring her into my world so much mm-hmm. and I feel like the stuff that she want to do, you know, it's, it's stuff that kids want to do. Yeah, for sure. So I'm, like, always trying to elevate her. Like, I'm trying to make her mind be greater than what she got to be. But I'm going to tell you what, I've succeeded in that. Yeah, for That's sure. why I feel like I'm a good parent. But I feel like I, I do need to kind of just let her show me the way sometimes and let yeah. her take me where she want to go and learn from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about, something I need to work on. What about you, Cheese, man? Uh, should I say, shit, motivate them more. Shit, spend more time to, with them. Talk to them more. Yeah. Like, man, it's always room for improvement. Like, shit, like, you can fucking take your kids all these places, buy them all this shit, but you can actually, like, kick it with them. And, for sure. Like, my, my daughter, she's simple. She be wanting to do simple stuff, like, Daddy, play Roblox with me. Yeah. Daddy, uh, let's build this fort. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's watch a movie, shit like that. Yeah. Like, my son's getting older. Yeah. How you were saying, like, they smelling themselves yeah. and shit like yeah. that. So they be too cool for school for a lot of shit. <laughs> okay. And then, like, he kind of pissed me off. Like, damn, like, come on, I want to, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But instead of how to fix that, it's probably start doing, try to do shit that they want to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's the same thing I'm saying. Like, you my, gotta my, my son, wanna... like, when we get in the car, he be playing his music. I mean, turn that shit off. Man, he listen to some bull. I told him like, he listen to bullshit, dog. <laughs> some, of the, some of the shit be good, but he he like all the shit that's popping now. Like he into that New York uh, drill shit. Yeah. He like a lot of the, the Detroit rappers that that's I ain't gonna say they whack, but some of the stuff you don't. They like. be talking about shit. Yeah. Just yeah. nigga, you know that bitch. That's how I am, dog. I need. I, I'm a good parent. I feel, but I might maybe with my older son just like pay attention to what he doing a little bit more, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just say be more involved, yeah. man. See, we all can, we all agree. Like we need to be more more. Conscious of and aware of what they want from mm-hmm. us, and like join in with that. Yeah, yeah, and not just trip on shit. Like, what the fuck you like that for? Cause like, you know, you know that dog. Like, sometimes your son's got a different swag than you and shit like that. Like, you gotta be like, what shit? It's just what it is. Cause I know our parents are probably looking at us weird for what we was wearing. Yeah, nah, 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 definitely my, my oldest one. He <laughs> definitely got a different swag than everybody. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't knock him for they swag and yeah. shit. But yeah. like at first. 
when this whole skinny jeans shit came out, they was wearing. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck like, what is you doing? Shit for? Yeah. But like, I mean, shit, I, I get it. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. See, I forgot to ask y'all niggas, dog. We usually start with that shit, man. How y'all year been, dog? It's been it's been a fucked up year, a good year. Cause for me, I ain't gonna lie, it's probably been this. I my, say good. This is my bounce back year. I feel like I fight like my. It's been good. I fight like for two years, dog. Like my shit was fucked up. Like money wasn't right. Shit was all fucked up. I wasn't happy. Like not, I was happy just cause I think it was more so money shit that I, I wasn't happy and shit. Right, then you hit the lottery and your life changed. Yeah, it's like, dog, shit got better. I'm like, damn, like, I'm not really struggling for, anyway, of course we struggle for money. But it's like, my thing is able to pay bills and able to get shit right without having to be pressed and worry about So when you, when you had won the Michigan Powerball, how much exactly did you win? I'm gonna put your you business won the, out there. You won the Powerball? I'm sorry, I got, I, I'm sorry I'm snitching. Was it 325? No, I wish. I wish. I should have had that cross. No, I ain't no way. My nigga got the bag. No, you silly. He dog. got the Santa bag. No, <laughs> no but it's, it's like, Christmas Santa. No, it's just like little shit like that. We was talking about uh, Christmas. Like, I yeah. got my Christmas shopping done early. That's something that I ain't done in a while. So, yeah. me doing that shit, nigga, I'm happy. I pat myself on the back. So, okay. what about y'all year? How y'all shit been, man? Talk I to feel me. like my year been good, but it's not really nothing to do with I, what I gain, like, like financially or physically, like, mm -hmm. far as, like, things. It's really more so of me just finding a, a, a closer connection to myself, a closer connection to God, and a closer connection with my family. Sure. I feel For like sure. I've grown mentally so much, like... Yo, it's been such a process to even get to where I'm at now. Like, the, the mindset I got and the way I process things, like, so different. Yeah. So different. And it's it's been a journey, like a literally like a journey. And so 2021, mm -hmm. you know, I started to realize what's important. It's like every time you go see an old person or whatever, what old people tell you what's important. They they want their grandkids to come better. They want you to come yeah, visit yeah. them, come spend some time with them, you know. Sure. And when I started I started prioritizing just really just like my mental state of my family and like when yeah. I focused on that it's like everything else just fell in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. and I'm not trying to say not prioritizing God because that's my number one priority. Mm -hmm. And when I really decided to make God the head of my life like for real like He's not even trying friend. to get hella deep on y'all but for real like I make time for him every day. Mm -hmm. My life changed. It's no, like no. a bright light. I wake up in peace every day and people can't say that. Like I wake up I'm good. Mm -hmm. Every day. That's good shit. Hell For yeah. real. I mean, damn. I, I tried that. We talk about guys. Try to, <laughs> I'm like, it's, all good. it's hard, it's all good. Man, he understand. We all, we all works in progress. Man. Yeah. yeah. Period. Yeah. Shit. What, what you, uh, what you hear been like, dog? Man, I can't complain. Everybody got their highs and lows. Everybody go yeah. through shit, dealing with shit, got their sure. issues, fighting their demons, but. I mean, for the most part, like I'm, I'm still blessed and receiving blessings, and Hell I still yeah. got a lot more blessings to come. So shit. What demons is you fighting? Just regular issues and shit. Like, yeah. one example. Hold on, what she say? I'm not finna tell my business to all these people. <laughs> but I did. But I did though. I did. I came clean. So just give us one example. Do you give we, us we the, go, the we most? We gonna have to have a therapy session because motherfuckers gonna have to have their <laughs> coffee cups for that. Man. All right, we'll yeah. do that another day. Hey, because like I said, my issue was just about just money. Like, damn, like fuck, man. Uh -huh. Like like just just paying bills and like I was paying bills and still like fuck dog like I need more money to pay these bitches. I did less work this year than I ever done. I have more money than I ever oh, had. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, not yeah. no, that's true. Like, I, I agree with that hundred percent. And it's just and it's just because I don't know how it happened. I really don't know how it happened. Like, and next year I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably everything I'm gonna do is gonna be things I wanna do. And the money gonna be the same way. It's gonna come in just out of unexpectedly. I'm telling you, when you focus, like blessings just kind of hit your dough, like for real. Like you align with the universe or yeah. something, for real. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Hell Seriously. Yeah. But a lot of times, like that that money and that materialistic shit don't mean shit if you ain't got no positive no. peace of mind. That's like, a fact. Like you, you gotta have your motherfucking mind straight. And to really like be understanding of this shit, cause you can fucking have a million dollars and still be sad as and fuck. And be ready to right. jump off the, uh, well, jump yeah, off the balcony cause you ain't got nobody, and kill yourself. If you buy yourself, you ain't got nobody to draw that money with. You just lonely and shit. Like, money ain't everything, but no. I mean, we need it. But in certain situations, money can't save you from what you're going through. But you know what? That's, what the, that's what the world have, have equated to. Like, this whole, this, our whole generation is obsessed with possessions. No, for sure. It's like you're not doing nothing with your life if you don't have investments or have buildings or have properties or have IRAs or have, yeah. you know, 401ks. Or if you ain't a dope man or if you ain't got, you ain't scam, you ain't got a diamond chain, you ain't driving a nice car. Da -da -da. Yeah. And it's a lot of people driving that and wearing that and living that and they it's empty. Fucked up. Yeah, no, fast. Hell yeah. For real. We got deep Sad. on this mud, though. We it's usually unfortunate. We, usually we pop off on some bullshit. We ain't got deep on this on, on this shit, It was dog. your question, though. Yeah, you know, I know, but <laughs> I wanted to get deep because, you know, 
I could say, have you ever thought about if a nigga didn't lose his baby teeth and he ate pussy, was that statutory rape to his mouth? What? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't said, be you shouldn't be eating pussy he, with no loose teeth. No, you, what? no, you got baby you teeth still. You got okay. baby teeth still. Like, be my no, cousin. Yeah, you shouldn't be eating pussy. You got baby teeth because you're a baby. <laughs> you a little ass me, my, kid. Me, me, my cousin. Shout out to my cousin Lance. We were drunk as hell one That's time. That's statutory rape on a woman. You let that little kid eat that, that yeah, grown yeah. pussy. First of all, but no, no, he a grown what? man, but his teeth is young. How he got little baby teeth and he a grown we, man? It was just hypothetically speaking. We was just like something ain't right here. <laughs> That, a nigga, if he got baby teeth, that means he's rotten. If a woman let a man with rotten, rotten teeth even no, associate with her, let alone get close what to her if, what, vagina, what if, she's I, a I'm weirdo. I'm quite sure we go on YouTube, it's probably a nigga who never lost his baby teeth and they just straight. And he, he that nigga got, probably got some, he probably must have perfect ass teeth or some shit, like, to not lose your, because you got to lose your baby teeth for your grown nigga teeth to grow. This is some Rashad shit right here. But what if they never got out? And this you, Rashad you, you eat some pussy and shit, like, so you, shit, like, it's like, is it rape to the, like, I'm that? pretty sure if, if, if a woman, <laughs> Got teeth in her pussy. She probably teeth. don't want her pussy ate again. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are so crazy, no. bro. Oh, it's crazy. No, hey. I don't know why we had. I don't know why we thought about that shit. Though we were drunk. Ain't no, oh, say, ain't no we. That's a you. You yeah. it. <laughs> no, me, me and my cousin were drunk, dog. And we was talking about um. We was just talking about like baby teeth. Like like I, like, I, I said, Shaw had lost his baby teeth quick. Cause we was talking about like uh, kids coming out. You know when it be snagging too, how funny it be. I'm like, dog, what if a grown nigga just never lost them bitches and was just eating some pussy? Like, is that, that, like, that's some old statutory rape and shit, nigga. Okay, I'm gonna one up you. What if, what if that grown nigga still had his baby teeth and he lost them eating some ass? That's worse. So, I'm not, I'm not gonna participate no. in this conversation with no. y'all. Hey, you know, the pandemic money. is what made me eat ass. Yeah, you, oh, you told some ass? Remember, I told y'all. Yeah, we talked about that. No, but yeah. he told us he never did no, it. No, 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 no. You didn't eat some ass, you ate your wife ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just say it like, I ate yes. some ass. Yeah. Hey, I was in the club, I ate some. Yeah. Ate some you gotta clean that up. I got you, what, my dog. What, what? All right, let me you ask you. You be doing that to this day? To I mean, this day? I, no, not, not like, it's not like a, um, a, a, a reoccurring thing that happens all the time. It's like, you know, special <laughs> occasions. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what? Let me, go ahead. let me spice it up. Hey, my nigga got his interview <laughs> voice on. That nigga's like, oh, uh, no, it's not like a reoccurring thing. <laughs> Nigga went professional on us. <laughs> Reoccurring. Oh shit, that word. I know what so it means, but I would have never used that word in my vocabulary. He said we want to spice nigga it up. Professional. No. Then you you do double it's back on what you sporadically like. Oh, they talking big. No. <laughs> Let me think of a ti word and I can get in this conversation with no. y'all no, too. No, no, no. But no, it was like it was like you know what? Let me change my life. Let me see what this is about uh, real quick. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't it wasn't bad as I thought it was gonna be. You know, little kid mind. You know, you be thinking about some shit, dog. And then you'd be like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go for it. I went for it. Well, like, oh, fuck, I ate ass. Then eventually you go, you go, you go, you gonna graduate into it to the point where she's sitting on your face with the ass. <laughs> you ain't never let her sit on your face. I mean, what, what do you mean sit like, like sit and like you she put, sit she down? You don't put her whole face oh. on your face and just like no, it, you it's like you know it's it's, it's you know it's, it's uh, something you gotta do. It's just, but you she's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's oh, no, there. Let, uh, let, her, let, her, let her hit the mega knees on your face, <laughs> yeah. man. Now I'm not gonna put uh, the, and backwards. I'm not gonna put the person out here who said this junk dog. What? But he had me funny. He had me rolling. He, how you say he ate some pussy and it was like bushy as hell. And he had to hair? Peel, he had to peel, peel back the layers of the bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In 2020. He ate some werewolf pussy. Is that was this recently? No comment on is this is recently or is this the past. We don't know who it is, but was it like this year? <laughs> yeah, it's been the last. You know, if I if you had to ask me, was it in the last five years? I would say yes. So he was like in the jungle with wow. the fucking uh, bushwhackers having to whack to get to the pussy like that. Yeah. So this was a single lady. Um, I, I plead the fifth on that part too. Was the lady single? I mean, at the time, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, hey, I feel like so you, she must got a man that like he likes Harry. Pussy. But what, all right, let me ask you this: what, some men what, got fetishes like what that. If he like, don't, what, otherwise, what if he don't? Because otherwise, what if he don't like Harry Pussy? How do he tell her like, "Hey, I want you to cut that shit cut down"? Cut that shit down. Tell her. That ain't offensive. What, it's not offensive. You don't think she'd be offended by that? No, she, she probably don't know no better. What? Yeah. No, hell, no. No, yeah. it's no excuse for a woman to walk around with all pussy? that. Why? You you know better. You mm. you know better. Like no, yeah. you if a woman got that going on and don't nobody like that, she shouldn't even like that. But yeah. if she do, 
But I would probably, we talking? You we tell talking her to the that point, you, like, like, baby, I want you to cut it off. Like, so, and, and make it seem like you want to eat her pussy a special way, yeah. but you didn't care to be gone first. Yeah, you know, finesse her, whatever. Look, and then, like, she how, how hairy y'all talking? Like, y'all talking hairy to the I'm point, like. I'm talking about hair at all. Look, yeah, like, say, for instance, she pull her pants down, she got panties on, but she got. A little bush coming out? No, no, a lot of bush coming out of the panties. Like, how they be in the movies. Like, y'all talking like that. Like, that used to be in style, though, because my dad used to have a, a that's poster. That's that Vince like, like a poster with like a lady that, with her leg cocked up with, come out, come from. with a uh, nappy dugout. bush. That's yeah. nasty. Yeah, all them old pornos, they, they definitely had bush with no drawers. It's all pants. Ain't like a bush, though. Do the men still wear them, though? Because I don't know. No, where, I don't know. I don't know. Do the men still wear them? What? <laughs> bush? Do the men still bush it out? Do the men manscape? <laughs> That's like a weird. Ass well, thing. I got, I got, th I got three men here. Y'all manscapers or y'all bushers? No, you, you see, so you ask, you ask them about other men. That, that's, right. that's kind of. What about wild, you, Cheese? Spicy. I shave my shit. I like my shit. What about you? Um, Are you a busher? Or I'm, a Dave, I'm Dave the busher. He the busher. What? What <laughs> about you? Cut you cut yours off too? Yeah. Like bald? No, nah, no. Nah. That's just down. Yeah, uh, it, it, it you bald yours out? Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> I, I do. Ball, I it it, it, it makes your shit just look more, okay. more appearable, <laughs> more just like presentable. It's like, we I, like, I like for it to have a little bit of hair. I don't like yeah. it to be a whole bunch. Like, we're like, sitting away. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, it can't just be bald. Yeah, like, you man with a bald, yeah, you get that, you get your hair cut. Like, okay, I'm back on the same. I'm crispy. Hell yeah. I never seen a bald one. Well, I've been with the same person for a hundred years, so what the fuck am I Maybe supposed to know? Bald okay, bush. that's all you can do. Tell him to spice it up. Like, hey, just try this one time. Let me see he how it looks. He not gonna listen to me? Yeah. No, he not. He might. No, he not. Man. Just try. Uh -uh. Man, that he not that's... gonna do it. Man. Balled it out. <laughs> Get your um, scrotum, Go. what you call it, shaved. You know where they put that thing Come on that there? Wax. Wax, wax, wax off. off. Oh, no, he's crazy. I, I, I don't know that would be, that would be kind of cool, though, if y'all would do that. Hell no. Oh. I think niggas just straight shave. I, don't, I, don't, I think waxing, that's like female that's thing. That's taking it too far. That's uh, metro yeah. sexual. Yeah. No, I don't think it's metro sexual. I just don't think niggas get waxed. It's like we could just. <laughs> hey, no. All the ones got to get the layers with the honey and all, right, all that so shit. I'm going to miss something real quick, dog. What? I told Cupid John he was rolling. What? I was probably about 12, dog. And I remember I got my mom raised and started just cutting the, the hair on my balls. Uh, <laughs> did you hurt yourself? No, but I was itching like a motherfucker. That I was scratching for days. Like I bet. I'm like I don't know why I did it, but I'm like fuck. I'm just gonna no, cut you don't do it, dog. You got these clippers, dog. I was I, I was like, like, He would have probably cut his stuff off if he had clippers. <laughs> <laughs> How old was you? You cut your stuff with a 12. fucking razor. Right. Twelve. He probably would have. Mm, the you know what I'm Hey. No homo. Just imagine though. If you motherfucker take a chunk out your beat with a fucking razor, cuz you would have been scarred for life. Oh, that sounds oh, hurtful. Hell yeah. Now, uh, Anytime you would have tried to whip out in the future, they like, ah, right, what's wrong with you? What you got, they call it chunkless dick, nigga. Chunkless dick? <laughs> <laughs> he got that deformed piece. <laughs> dog, dog, nah, nigga, I'm the only one here that's uh that's married right now. Um what? I, oh. Don't, don't. Let's no, move saying, you ain't saying something. I don't, all right. Do you, um, cheese, and then for you? Yeah. Uh, if you get married, do your girl, is it a must that she change her last name? Oh, I like that question. She got, she could hyphenate her shit. You would let her hyphenate? Yeah, she could hyphenate her shit. Nah, hyphenate my, my shit, when we got married, nigga, that shit got to go. Wait, Stir. wait, wait. She got to have, she want the whole, you want the whole name gone. Tell me why. Because it's like, just, just, just me, it's us. We Sterling's now. Ain't no fucking, uh, ain't nothing else to it. Well, she was born or whatever. Yeah, she was born at. And then when she like my daughter right now. My daughter has last name Sterling. I know when she get married, it's going to be over. Thank God I got two boys. Thank God I could carry on legacy. legacy. I yeah. feel that. I want, I want to say this. Like, I want to say, I, I, I got to be careful. Like, I, West, I, I, I was like, women, some women keep their last name. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm like a hyphenator. Mm -hmm. I want to keep my, my last name on there, but... It's not necessarily going to go my way. I have to change my whole name. Yeah, you got to. Get us out of here. And I don't want to. And, yeah. it's, and it's not no disrespect to him. It's just because I have an attachment to that name. And that name means something to me. And it's a representation of who I really am. That's a, good, that's a fact. And, it, and it, built, it built my integrity and it built my respect for myself and it built my, really for my love for myself. And I don't want to detach from that because it means so much to me. Right, because shit, when my daughter get married... I want her to fucking still have have our last name in there. You could be 
Lloyd, whatever, but shit, keep that shit in there. Yeah, man, you know, my like, last if, name, if, like, if, you know what I'm saying? My future, it's super you know what I'm saying? special. She want to keep her last name, but it ain't like we going to get married and she ain't going to take my last name at all. We ain't doing what they say in the I comments was, right there, I, was, I see hope I was, laughing I was raised, I was raised, this is my, what she said, did you hurt yourself? <laughs> oh, I cut oh, my hair? No, oh. she's talking about when he probably, when he shaved his ball. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, it didn't hurt. No, he, he didn't hurt. had the problems. It didn't hurt, it was just itching like a motherfucker, dog. No, no, he didn't hurt it, so he good. It was itching like crazy. But I was itching for like a I'm week. I'm on the live, so that's what it is. On, I'm Thought on the live. Had but that, had that clap, yes, clap, yeah, clap that. But I was taught to respect my last name, and it was like a family thing. Like, my yeah. whole family, like, we was always proud of our name. For sure. And it's just like, it's like something that I just, I don't know. I just, now, see, me, me I, I ain't gonna mind my daughter change her shit because then I'll be uh, a hypocrite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It's, it's rap. Do, so, do, yeah. uh, do her, uh, I'm just speaking hypothetical, do her future husband, same thing with uh with your daughter. Uh -huh. Do do their future husbands got to come get y'all blessing before he pop that question? Facts. Um, he don't have to feel like he want to marry my daughter before he come let me know. That ain't his job because it ain't my marriage to have. That's my daughter's no, marriage. No, I'm saying like once he realized that, but like, would you like for him to come talk to you and be like, I want to marry your daughter? That goes to respect. I would like for my daughter to come let me know. He asked her, and then me and her can have a discussion because okay. whatever he trying to do don't really got nothing to do with me. I want to know how my baby feel about it. So not me. And, and I okay, know sorry. I raised her good enough where first of all she gonna tell me the absolute truth. Plus I'm gonna be able to see anything that's weird way before yeah. he asks to marry. And I want to have a conversation with her. I don't need to have a conversation with him about my approval because he don't need it. Yeah. That man now, with, don't need my approval to marry me, my baby. I, um, my uh, wife, is she can coach with her dad, but her stepdad is around all the time. Her dad stay out of town and shit. So I just told him, like, listen, man, I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, pop the question, this, that, third, whatever, whatever. Like, I just let him, let him, I let him know and jump like that. I just felt like it was a, it's a respect thing. Like, if my kids get married, I, I, I would expect, I tell my son, like, dog, you know what I'm saying, before you do that shit, just go ahead and chop it up with the pops and shit like that. Like, I, not more That's so the a man thing, I think. Yeah, with the pops, though, chop it up with him, let him know what oh, you... Even, even if it's like, if it's like, no, no, no motherfucking daddy present, like, Whoever like the male figure that's that's like up there who she look up to, whether yeah. it be her big brother or uncle. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Whoever. Yeah. Look might be maybe her little brother who like her big brother. Yeah, just yeah. like Yeah, man. Yeah. No. My little brother like my big brother. So? Yeah, but no, I, I he way younger than me. Yeah, but that last name thing, yeah, I just think that's something that's like my kids married or not, my kids gotta have my last name. But then, like, see, if you a celebrity, that shit don't make no sense. Like, but them your kids, I get, I feel like a kid should get their dad last name. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's some, some moms don't believe that. Some moms don't. I like, got we ain't married. Like, like, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I know, but for the most part, yeah, I'm a fucking kid get their daddy last name. Damn, I forgot. I'm, I'm fucked up. We talking about the first loves and relationships and shit. Your girl, how long? <laughs> can, how long is it okay for your girl to continue to celebrate the devil her first love? Because Jay celebrate. P Jay Pinkett always celebrate Tupac uh, 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 birthday. Oh, that's oh. They different. And with me, my hey, nigga, no. They different. Rest in peace. But nigga, my wife. All right. If my wife found out her her first boyfriend, or whatever, passed away, you'd be sad. Right, you might even write, you write a post about it, whatever, talk about it. But every year, nigga, no, fuck that. Hold nigga, up, no. hold up, hold up, hold up. So you saying we should give them an allotment of time to grieve over one, someone one they time. once loved mm -hmm. during our relationship? Mm -hmm. So, hell no. No, you better keep that shit in the bathroom. You better oh, cry no. in the shower. I no, don't no. want to know about no, you. don't get no. five minutes. I don't give I a damn. Lie. That no, bitch died. I'm I, sorry. I don't you don't bring that in I, here? I, I, no, I don't want her talking about it, being sad about it in my face, no. But mm -hmm. I understand. you like, damn, he passed. Like, you know, he passed away. Yeah. That was somebody you were. You when, that, when that love. nigga died, you, your memories with that nigga died too. Period. Yeah. Period. Damn. Period. Damn. Period. Damn. That's it. I, mean, that's, I ain't young. saying fuck that dead ass nigga, but that dead ass nigga gone. He was gone before he died. I know, see my thing. Is, I'm yeah, that too. He so been no, gone. And now we sell, now we gotta celebrate his death when he was already no, gone. No, it, anyway. it ain't celebrating, but don't, don't get me wrong. Listen, recognize. Don't get me wrong. Look, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, before, before you say that, the reason the reason I feel like that. Jada got my nigga Will out here looking crazy. No, he and she got something Hell special yeah. going on. Hell Hell she life. got my nigga Fresh Prince looking crazy. No, she got I don't all like them, that shit. She got all of them with the ball Tupac head. <laughs> Whole family. <laughs> no, because it's like every year she talk about a new poem. She and Will, Will Smith admitted he was jealous of Tupac. Yeah. Like, so if I'm jealous of this nigga, why is you still going around talking about this? She bet, <laughs> this is the type of shit you get with your girls in the little sister circle. Y'all talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No interviews. 
And then it's Tupac. Everybody yeah. loves Tupac. Yeah, Tupac, sure. that nigga. Like, come on. Now, and my wife, really? she like, oh, yeah, my, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. my ex, like my that, ex, uh, my ex uh, passed away. I'm like, damn, that's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm like, damn. That's fucked up. Die? Yeah, we, we'll talk about it a little bit, I'm but you're not about to continue to talk about that shit every... You're not about to continue to talk about this shit every fucking year, dog. Like, you ain't about to sit here and say, my first love passed away, rest in peace, every year, dog. Like, enough is enough. But if he if, did this, initially, if he you ate my butt upside down, because <laughs> that's the type of stuff she's thinking about how much she loved him. Now, initially, it would she be like, you know, rest in peace, blase, blase, okay, cool. But it ain't gonna be no every every year shit, dog. Like, I'm good with that. Like, you can't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? If I, now, what if, what if yo, your first little, you know what I'm saying, thing passed away, like, you just, it was dead when your relationship was dead before he even died? Um, here's the thing. Anybody that's in my past have been in my past for a, a, a long enough time to where I shouldn't be grieving over it, where mm-hmm. my, my current relationship needs to respect mm-hmm. the presence of that old love. Like, you can't expect me to care. And then like, it, it depends, like, how long ago that shit was or who they was. Like, if it's just, like... If it's somebody you dating, you dating them, yeah, y'all you been together for, like, six months, a year, they mm-hmm. find out the ex that they was with before they got with you, they passed. Okay. But... No, like I don't feel like I don't feel like it need to be a long time. No, you, you, no. you don't need to be able to do that. So yeah, no, I agree with you, dog. As far as like the whole little, you know, celebrating shit, it's a time and a place, and you know, what I'm saying it depends on how long y'all was together. If it was baby mom, baby dad, but just don't keep going with that shit. And just speaking of all you niggas dying, do you ever feel like? Do you ever laugh? To me, a funeral is the funniest shit ever. Like, I, I, gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the context to what you, what you right, going. It's always humor in funerals, dog, because you got that person. Just sit back in a funeral some, one time. <laughs> this nigga fucked up, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, sometimes, all right, I, I went to my girl, my wife. Uh, well, who, who had passed away? Her grandma, her husband had passed away. Okay. So um, we went down there the quick little turnaround trip in Milwaukee. So I'm just, I just sit there because, you know, I mean, it's, it's messed up for everybody, but it's nobody I'm close with. So I'm just looking at everybody else, like how they be clowning. Like the nigga who come in here, you know what I'm saying, who really don't give a fuck. The nigga who made that long ass speech when he say two minutes and wind up being like 10. Everybody like, Just over dramatic shit. Yeah. So um, I guess it was his son. His son was, um, he had his, his two kids was there. And, or his two boys and his daughter was at the, at the uh, funeral and shit. So we go through the funeral jump and then it's over. So we go to the uh, burial, or whatever. So then my wife just asked her son, his son, how are you doing? Man, fuck my brother. Man, fuck this nigga. Man, fuck my sister. Her fake ass over there. I'm like, bro, like, talking about in the funeral. Home. Home. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, fuck these niggas. So I'm in this bitch dying inside. Like the only thing she said was, "How you doing, dog?" No, because well, he look, probably look, got pent up aggression. Yeah, I'm about to say that. Like when you when you in that funeral home, yeah, it's like. You got all these emotions running through you. Now, yeah. he may have been a person who was really there for they, they pops and yeah, shit. That's what and, the, and the kids probably wasn't. So it was like, nah. It's like, oh, now y'all want to care. Yeah, when this yeah, nigga yeah. gone, he was a lie. You ain't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now right. you want to care. So he, that, he probably wigged the fuck out. Yeah, I, like, it, I, I understand no, that. Like that. that. You had one chick, she had her mask on. She trying to talk. And I'm like, don't understand nothing she's saying. Cause, man. <laughs> and she like, oh, yeah, I heard, that's the king. That's the king. I'm that bitch like, dog. This no, shit, like this is hilarious. Like on some real shit, like. <laughs> like but you, you do need those moments because it's like when somebody pass away, it is gonna be somebody or a couple people that get them speeches that just like, hey, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah. But it's kind of like I mean they they telling they they giving they is that a testimony? They telling their story. They, they telling they yeah. they peace. Or they, yeah, they 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 giving off an experience that they then, share with the person that stood out to them. And if her great grandma funeral though, I was I was rolling because um. Nigga, her auntie came up there and was like, she kept saying, and, uh, and another thing, I'm in mud, dog. It's like, in the summertime, it's about 90 degrees in the, fan, in the church, dog. No air. I'm in mud, got the whole little praise little fan. And junk, little dog. church fan. The praise yeah. fan. <laughs> and she in the mud, like, nigga, and another thing, and another thing. I'm like, dog, please, come on, dog. And then her auntie was doing her little praise dance. I'm in mud, like, everything was funny. Praise dance during the funeral? Yeah. Because, look, old, old people, <laughs> they, they, they like to talk. And then it's like, bro, they don't, a lot of times, they probably don't really understand that they've been talking for so long that they just keep and then, talking. And even my mom, they don't yeah, my mom's friend was so the long, hardest friend for me talking. to get through. But I don't know if Q remember her. Uh, it was either her friend or somebody came up there and was trying to read something and she couldn't read, dog. If you're going to read the eulogy, make sure you can read or prep before you go up there. You remember how like you used to be in class and then you know you're going to 
it was, by the time it got to you, it was going to be on paragraph four. So you in red paragraph four just to make sure you good for paragraph four. <clears throat> no, 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 no. That, I, that, that's real shit. Yeah. On some real shit. I was at a funeral like two weeks ago. And then the lady who read the the the, 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 the eulogy, the, the funeral program, yeah, yeah, yeah. dog, she could read. Yeah. And then I'm thinking like, damn. I haven't been to a funeral in a long time with a person could read, could read and like enunciate and not mess up names and oh. shit. Like it's like it stood out to you. Yeah, it, it, it's sad to say, but it did because I'm like, damn. Yeah, because usually people like be stumbling over the words and no. or don't let nobody get them cards, names, nigga. Right? Those those, uh, those cards. No, she, she and then you gotta understand she hurting, but she still presented that shit yeah. right. Like I'm telling you, dog. Real talk, it be humor in all funerals. Like even with my um. Well, my wife or auntie, mm -hmm. dog. We've been a lot of friends with on her side. But um the, the um her cousin Kenny, he got like a little bit of autism to him and shit like that. Uh no, is it aut autistic? Autistic. That's yeah. the same thing, ain't it? Uh-huh. Hey, come on now. So um <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my nigga sound like drunk up like so cool. <laughs> My nigga drunk so uncle, hey, drunk uncle shot in this bitch. <laughs> Every time we get to pray over the food for like Thanksgiving or Christmas, he break down. And it's like a, it's like a, it's a crazy breakdown too, dog. It's a whole bunch of us in there. Now, now my, uh, my cousin Lance and his homeboys, they don't know that he a little off and shit. So he always say a prayer. So like, hey, everybody put your heads down. So when he doing it, then he just broke down like, ah! <laughs> That's not funny, dog. He's like, and some people who not with us sit down, start crying. No, no. So you laughing? So I'm grabbing a person's hand, like, don't you see this shit? Like, he's like, ah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, sometimes, not all the time, when a motherfucker crying and they try to talk, they was like, I was at the store and I seen. It's like. <laughs> like, get that no teeth by my like, ah! hey. No, y'all gotta stop this. <laughs> no, I'm not no, gonna talk, participate. Sometimes that shit do be playing like when it. a motherfucker be talking I ain't doing and they like crying, they like they like drag that word like turning the Luther LeBrandra. I don't shit. be laughing that people pay y'all. It's mean. No, it's just like with him. It seemed like it's just like it just. As soon as he said that, he'd be like, yeah, praise the Lord. Thank you for this food. Um, make sure everybody um, get home safe. And for the ones who not here. Shot. <laughs> ah! Watch this. You don't care. Oh, uh, shit. She know we be laughing. I be laughing. <laughs> yeah. Right her yeah. face. Do he be laughing? I'm going to clip this. He in. be crying. Who? My man, he, he, he be crying his ass off. Mm. But it be funny, dog. <laughs> That motherfucker word dread like a motherfucker. Sorry for everything, sir. Hey, you know you should hurry up and eat the food. Like damn, this is about hey, but no, like, gonna be in it, dog. I mean, not that you said like it. It is always like <laughs> an old school nigga want to come up there on some old. First of all, I want to give an honor to God. <laughs> yeah, you know me in the movie. Praise man. the Lord. I ain't gonna lie, that should be too long. God be like, is okay. good. And, what they say, God is like, good and God is great all the time. <laughs> okay. And I just want to say that he brought all us all together tonight for a reason. Yeah. It's like, nigga, hey, like, hey, bro, the preacher just came from up there, my nigga. Tell yeah, your right, story. Right. Come for on, real. man. For real, dog. Yeah, but, like, there's always some humor in the funeral, bro. But, no, like, on some real shit, a lot of times when you go through shit, it don't be funny. But once you make it through, yeah. then you can look back and point out all the, the laughable moments. Like, yeah. man, remember such and such? Like, at the yeah. time, hell no, that shit wasn't funny because it was... Fight or flight, life or death. Hell yeah, hell nigga, yeah. too real. Like, oh shit. Like we always talk about uh, when um, producer Q, dog. Like when he got sick, dog. Like how funny he is afterwards because he made it through. Who was producer Q? This nigga. Oh. But during, <laughs> but during the time it wasn't funny when he had you know got sick and shit. And mm. like I said, we say we say this shit all the time. Me and Monk, you know, we had a little tear for him because we thought it was over, dog. Like we we almost cried outside a little bit. Damn, nigga, they wrote you up like that. Yeah, we always held each other down. Shit, we always. Bad. Yeah, it was bad, dog. But then looking back, you can laugh at it, like. But then you wasn't laughing because like this is something you funny. fuck with. Yeah, it was real. But once once, once, it, once you make it through it, and it's like you turn that like, motherfucking pain no into entertainment niggas. type. You like, shit. Like, damn, you were fucked up, dog. You was fucked up, man. You was, <laughs> nigga, you was out this bitch, dog. Like we turn everything into humor after the fact, dog. You know, during the fact, we gonna you gonna feel bad, have sympathy and shit like that. But it's like we always turn. I, I think because we went through so much as a people that we we always turn something into humor. Yeah. No matter what it is. Like, it could be, you can get caught getting, you know what I'm saying, a girl cheated on you. You look back like, God damn, that's fucked up. That was funny as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? But during the time, you want to kill yourself. I don't know about that one. <laughs> well, some people not everybody. 
<laughs> that shit funny nah. about that. <laughs> that shit real than a motherfucker. Duh. Yeah, but so you only ever have fun if everyone like laughing while I was like, no, these I niggas say have fun. Not fun, but like, like fine humor. No. I'm like, damn, no. these niggas tripping. I can't, I can't, <laughs> I cannot say that I have. <laughs> not, not ever. Yeah, but see, with the praise dance, the reason why the praise dance was so funny with my uh, my wife auntie because she wanted to sing, but she can't sing, so she was just praise dancing hard. I'm like, damn, she at the sing. funeral. Yeah. And it was like, nigga, it was like so long. I'm like, damn, dog, I wish she hurry but get done dancing. Uh -huh. Like, it was just so long, it was so hot. And like, I don't know nobody, so I'm by myself. I'm like, dog, it is hot. And she just got to dancing. I'm like, man, this shit. Hey, I had this, a bad this, experience at the funeral. So this, I get this is a stupid question, but what? it's a real question. Oh, dog, talk to me. Dog, I want to know can a dead person see their funeral? All right. Yeah, you know it's funny you say that. Cause I, I want to see. Podcast. Mine, I ain't gonna lie. I want to see who there, who ain't there. I ain't you gonna probably, lie. Your spirit probably can probably there. Like even if I'm just hovering over the room. Like, okay, 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 okay. Oh, you crying like a motherfucker. You, damn, you miss me like a damn. I ain't, damn. <laughs> oh, you ain't. What, what the fuck your tears at? I you the people that's gonna cry the hardest is the week. ones that ain't do right by you, and the ones that know that they should have did more, or been there more. Yeah. The people that was there for real, they ain't gonna cry like that. Cause they, they gonna already feel like they did what they supposed to do. Like you lose somebody that's close to you, you feel the worst when you wasn't there like you were supposed to have been. Yeah. Because when they gone, you know they they they, they gone to a better place than you. Yeah. You know what sure. I'm saying? And it's, yeah, it's yeah. unfortunate that they not here for you every day, but you gonna see though? them again. Y'all think about your own shit. Like I've been I've been talking about this on podcasts with different guests, like that's something that sometimes I fuck with myself. God, I think about that shit. Like, I'm getting older. I'm I'm 35. I'll be 36 next year. Shit, I'll be... Th I'll oh, be my God. What up? Uh, you be thinking about that? No. Oh, I would say I do. <laughs> you be talking about you 35, like you like you 75. I'm not, like, yeah, no, no. But show it, it, just be like, it just be like, dog, like, when I be looking at my son, like, I, I, this is what fucks me up. My, I'm looking at him when he's 15. I met his mom when she was 15. So it's like, uh -huh. what the fuck? Like, that time just go. Yeah. So sometimes I, you, I be thinking about like, dog, like, I got to make sure I make the time... You know what I'm saying? Make something other time that I got left. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't waste that shit because that shit go quick as hell. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. I, think about I, that shit. I feel like that about making the most of my time because I feel like, you know, at some point all of us are going to run out of time, but I don't I don't yeah, be calculating yeah. my moves to the point where I'm like, well, I better hurry up because I'm 30, 30 this or 30 that. Yeah. Better hurry up, better move quick. No, I never think like that. Yeah. I don't put myself on, I don't subject myself to that kind of pressure. That's why I said earlier, like, people got to be more present. You got to be more present in the moment. Like, sure. what's going on right now? Like, you got nothing to complain about right now. Like, I'm not finna sweat tomorrow. Yeah, so sure. You might not even wake up tomorrow. All the time, but hey, I think about that shit a lot. Like, and it's not on some sense. Like, I be thinking of having, like, suicidal thoughts. Like, oh, I'm a kid. Oh, yeah, myself. no, yeah, no, that shit, no. I just be thinking, like, damn, today that might be the day type shit. And it's be like, what and kind of like, day? Like the day you die? Yeah, I be thinking like, damn, today you might be. You scared to die? No, I'm not. I am. That's I am. Whole, I am. That, that's the whole I'm, thing. I'm it's not. like, I'm not scared to die, but I'm not ready to die. I feel like, you. Like, if I can avoid you. it, yeah. I'm yeah. avoid it. But if I can't, it's just like, damn, my time up. Now, and that's what I be thinking about type shit. I'm scared of motherfucker. Man, y'all want to talk about death? Not yeah. really. But oh, no. <laughs> Right. Please don't, please don't. Let's just not talk about all right, that. Just, I, I just, I just got made. All right, we, we gonna all be here and shit, though. Yeah, you know let's, let's, you know. But no, I mean, I already got it made. I'm, I'm, I'm living to 104 at least. 104? Uh, 104. Yeah, I'm trying to be 105. I don't, 105. Think, I don't even think the world gonna be here that long. Man. 70 more years? Hey, I'm 104. It's about, it's about to blow. You know that, right? You got about five more years. Oh, 104, round with blow. Now you got me even more scared. <laughs> not, not speaking of what? When I'm speaking of year old, I'm gonna be taking Viagra at 104. <laughs> they ain't gonna be able to close my motherfucking casket. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga died taking two of them bitches. Like, fuck that nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm motherfucking. I'm taking like five at a time. Fuck yeah. that. When I'm hundred, I don't need this shit now. Nah, just be clear. But I'm just saying, you get older, that shit might happen. Just imagine you old as hell. Nigga, I'd probably be in a wheelchair. My arms don't work. My legs don't work. My toes don't Man, work. Man, my daddy already told me how that shit work. He already told me everything. Viagra. So, yep. So, you can get the Viagra or whatever. But when you get so old, it don't even matter because you don't even come the same. Man. It's like it's not even as exciting when it comes out. It's oh, like, you get the same feeling now? Mm-mm. Because -mm, yeah. you old now. And, and, and I don't care what you took to get you to stand up. That woman might be happy, but you're not going to get that excitement that you once had. That's over. So, you're going to be thinking about like, oh. Shit, the oh. way the world going, technology probably be different when I went over. So you're so gonna get a whole new body, probably, a whole new member on your body probably for like nah, a, a, a fee of fifty dollars a month. No, 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 
No dick shots. Probably that's could. what that means. <laughs> no, I'm talking about replacing the whole thing. That's probably what you're gonna be able to do. That's 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 like a new meat. I, uh, yeah, like what, the which meat, one you want? Hey, this is me, you. Which so one you want? <laughs> we have this hey, style. No. The meat I'm born with. Style. All these different the, the styles. The meat I'm born with is the meat I have to die with. All right, well that's gonna be on like, you because it's gonna be some men that's gonna choose their meat off the off the screen and it's gonna put it on them and it's gonna be regular, just like women choose their bodies. Yeah, like you it's know gonna what? be the meat for the you men. Know, now. This meat been through a little bit. We should start that company, Meat for Men. <laughs> What's your meat? <laughs> You can pick what you like. Don't but you. We gotta get some surgeons to put it together. I'm telling you, I will get the men to do see, it. See, with, with something For like real. that, they'll be ready. Look, that, 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 look that, that, that'll make, a, that'll make a lot of money. So I'll be a silent investor. I don't want to be hand to hand in daily operations. I will be, be an operation. See, I want to talk you can. to the men. I want to see how they feel. Because if you, if so you I like, advice. if you motherfucking a part of the hand to hand daily affirmations. Mm -hmm. You got to look at dicks all day. So? That's not a problem for me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can do that. Yeah. I would be a silent investor. Like, boom. Here go the money. <laughs> get what we need. You be like, hey, cheese, we got to get a such a... Whoa, well, I that don't need to know that. That might not be your area to be in the room with the yeah. patient to look at what they want and decide how we're going to mm -hmm. make it work for them. You don't have to do that, but you can be in the building. You know, like yeah, man, you made a good investment. I'm in the today. background, today like you made the best choice of your life. Like sugar, like motherfucking slim. Your life nigga. gonna be different for every slim day. Slim from now Cash on. Money. He in the background. You don't see him in the videos, but that nigga richer than all them niggas. All right, well, man, I remember man. you said that when I started my me for men. <laughs> I'm be, I'm be looking for my investment. I'm investing in that mother like, here you go. I know y'all is, because that's gonna be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, don't steal my idea. Niggas gonna be that mother like, hey, can I uh, get that, uh, that uh, number two? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. The number two That's ball. our most popular one. I'm like, great okay, choice. Bad, 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 bad. Balls, combo. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, what if a nigga come in there like, man, no, I just need the testicles, man. That's it, man. I don't know. I never thought about side. that. Like, I, I guess you have to add order. that to the menu. I was just talking niggas about that. Hey, nigga be like, yeah, you know, I ain't been I circumcised. Let me get that. Oh, circumcised number three. Uh, <laughs> we won't have those. That means that. <laughs> no. Oh man. No. Hey, dog. I don't know what's happening. I mean, hey, man, he made me spit my drink out, dog. You already this know, nigga. Wow. I said I was going to go to a record, dog, but nigga came in and be like, let me get that uncircumcised number three. Like, it, nigga, we got a circumcised choice, too. Like, oh, uh, shit. Like, that's number 15. Like, we get that 15. It's, no. Sorry, it's not circumcised. It's I cool. never seen that in my life. <laughs> I don't know no man that's like that. Man. Uh, now, you know, way off different subject, man. I seen some shit. Me and my wife had a conversation about it. Um, it was a picture, I guess, of a, a a boy. You know what I'm saying? It was like an easy bake oven, but it was like it was like it wasn't pink or no shit like that. Mm -hmm. But then it got the conversation going as far as like the appropriate toy for kids, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like my wife in their preschool area, they got the house area. And I said, don't never have my son in the house area. <laughs> Make sure that nigga doing shit. construction. Like, but my thing is like toys. <clears throat> appropriate like I can't have my son playing with like baby dolls with his sister and stuff mm -hmm. like that I let him know like listen this is for your sister mm -hmm. don't play with that or you know what I'm saying this is for you blase bleep and a lot of people would be like oh yeah you know that's not right they should be able to play with whatever they want to and stuff don't you know what I'm saying but with me I just some some old school ways need to continue to you so. know to, to go my son I won't let him play with no no girl type of toy like you gotta play with a boy toy play with this this wrestling figure these motherfucking nerf guns this basketball run and then baby girl you play with this shit this your shit like mm -hmm. how y'all feel about shit, that shit real nigga shit mm -hmm. I don't know how old I was when I was little nigga Nigga, I asked for a motherfucking easy bake oven for Christmas. Yeah. And I got that motherfucker. I was happy, nigga. Yeah. Why did I want it? I wanted to bake shit. I wanted yeah. to eat fucking <laughs> snacks and goodies, nigga. Yeah, 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 I ain't think about no, oh shit, this a girl toy. Like, yeah. nigga, hell no. Like, you mean tell me I could, I didn't know how to, I mean, I was too young to cook, so, oh, I could put some shit together in this pan and put it in here and I can make me eat some fucking shit. brownies or some cookies. So yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. That was, that was your original question. Like, how do you feel about the toys yeah. for certain girls and boys? Like, a easy bake oven, like if I know my son like to be in the kitchen with me and he be watching me cook and he want to help, yeah. and he asks for an easy bake oven because he want to cook something, I'm going to get it and for him. Now, if he asks me for a Barbie doll, I'm going to tell him no. And it's all conditioning because <clears throat> you condition your kids. Like people say you kids don't understand. They just in the belly or they just this little. No, nah, that's all programming. Mm -hmm. They collecting all of that. That's how, how come you think a kid that's three and four can speak two languages easy because yeah, sure. they can absorb all of that. So I'm not going to condition him to feel like he can't cook because why not? You don't never let no woman starve you. If I had a son, I'd tell him that. Know how to yeah. cook you something, period. So, oh, no, you, but, I'm glad you said that. My mom told yeah. me that, John, that you can cook for yourself because yeah. women feel like 
they you need them for that. Like nigga, like she'll take your food away. Yeah, I ain't cooking you. Nothing. You go in that bitch and break some shit down. Like all right, bet. Like nigga, I don't need your shit. Nigga, I cook my own shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so I would get him that, but no, I wouldn't buy my son no dolls, and because I expect my son to be a man, because that's how I believe. But as far as people, you know, what I'm saying letting their kids play with other toys, that's up to them. Like mm -hmm. you know, if your child is feel like you, they get, your son is gearing toward female tendencies, and you want to cater to that, then that's on you as a parent. Now, I, however, would not Oven do ain't that. no gay toy. No, no, but the Easy Bake Oven? Now, see no. This, I'm going to have cute posters in the what's name. I bought my my daughter a doll. You I seen that on you your page. You told me about that. Yeah, you, dog, you, so you see this shit? Yeah, you, you had told me about that shit. We, yeah. we were texting why, about why that. Why is it a little, why is it a little, yeah. a little brown boy? Black yeah. boy. He's not black. Like on the white I mean, one, he got a white black. girl. Why he sitting there with the baby doll? Why couldn't it be a little white boy? Yeah, yeah. Because. I feel like all of that's conditioned in the program. I said it. Now see this this right this, this, this what y'all about to make me call him my nigga care. Boosie, yeah, dog. Bro, Boosie me and Boosie, he, he don't be, be lying. It's like almost not to the point where if you believe in being a heterosexual, you are a bad Bro. person. Yeah. You, it's like almost it's like the the programming is like to get people to be gay. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You can be gay if you want to be gay. That is your choice. Facts. But I don't need to be beat over the head with it. I mm -hmm. don't need you to be putting it on my TV shows because, quite frankly, I don't care to see sex scenes in movies, period. Exactly. I don't need to see two men or two women either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so. especially if I got my child watching a movie or a TV <laughs> show that I like, and then, then it just start getting wild and crazy, and it's two men, they doing the most. Mm -hmm. I don't... That don't need to be on my regular television, especially in the cartoons. Like, it's doing the most. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Oh, go ahead. It's doing no, the no, most. Times change is like, like she was saying, like... Like, back in the days, like in the 80s, 90s, like, I love watching scary movies. They're my favorite type of movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, when I was a little nigga, I used to love watching, like, Jason and all that shit. Yeah. Because, like, oh, hell yeah. I'm about to see some motherfucking perky white titties. I'm about to see a long, flat, him. white booty type shit. A long, but, like, flat, white yeah, booty. Yeah, back in the day, they had them, them, them long booties and shit. They, long They booties. still make long booties these days, but <laughs> that's what you seen in the movie. You seen some motherfucking perky ass titties. But <laughs> a long flat white booty. <laughs> but look, like nowadays when I watch these scary movies, like I don't want to see no nudity. Just kill, cause like yeah. I'm probably watching it with my kids. Yeah. Like no, nah, like I don't, I don't want to see shit like that when yeah. I'm watching it with my kids. So yeah. no, nah, just keep it about killing. If I want to watch some some fucking long booties or titties, I can on porn or some yeah, shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, yeah. no, I, don't, I don't like I don't like sex scenes in movies no more. And then it's like, like. Of course, they they put male on male and everything, and I feel like that's the problem. Listen, no, hold on, it's it's okay, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But it's like when they do it, they over sexualize and they yeah, had these yeah. niggas like romance. It'd be like, yeah. bro, like yeah. on power, he throwing a nigga up against the wall, ripping it like, no, this is how they have a man and a woman. No, Granted, did you I don't watch that show P Valley. When the, when the man on P Valley, the little, the little the little gangsta hardcore, the nigga. rapper and the and the owner of the bar had a seat. <laughs> I ain't see the scene, but I, the I just scene know. Did you see the scene when they was, no. he spit it on him? Oh, no, man. I ain't see all that. It was very much But no, rap. even like female on female, much. it's like a lot of times, like, uh, when you see regular male on male, it's like, if it don't really fit for the scene, now like, granted, anytime I was watching Power and Ghost knocked down, um, Angie, Angie. Angie, Angie, that shit was, nah, when he knocked down Angie, that shit was lit. Uh -huh. Everybody like else's sex scene was whack. Lala's was whack. Yeah. Tommy's was whack. I like we knocked down Tasha, though. Like, I like, like seeing Tasha. Tasha, no matter who she smashed, the, the driver, even, do they have sex scenes on there now? I don't think they, oh yeah, when the uh, college nigga was fucking. Uh, 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 I can't first, remember a sex scene in the movie I really enjoyed. The only thing I liked Holly was Berry on New Jack City down. when that girl got up on that stage and took off all her clothes and was talking about talking to Nina when she was really there with G Money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my that was favorite, like, up. kind yeah, of a scene. Like, yeah. that was sexy to me. But all of the rest, us just like, they yeah, just. But now they're trying to incorporate, like, whack. niggas be like, oh, yeah, but, you know, you can't be mad this and mad at that. But I'm mad so, mad more so that they do it, like, with kids' shows. Yeah. Like, why do it gotta be like that, bro? Yeah, like, I don't, you ain't I don't gotta like talk that about, shit on It's no a kid's kid. show. It ain't gotta be no relationship with nothing. Just make it a kid fucking show. They, they, right. they you never saw Marge and fucking Homer doing no shit. Like, nah, or never. two Homers. Yeah, two Homers or two Marges. Like, nah. like you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's, that's not like, like I, don't, I don't like them pushing no type of sexuality on the kids whatsoever. I don't like, think so nah. either. Like, leave nah. them alone. They, they look like, the, like even, even like if it's just a simple kiss, like, no, nah, y'all yeah. ain't, man, come on, it's kids watching this. Yeah, for sure. And like I was on um, social media, dog, and I had seen somebody post like I guess their daughter is in a, uh, a relationship with another girl, but she in high school, and like they was like cool with it, like they took Christmas pictures, the parents posting it. I'm like, damn, I wonder how what well, I feel like. I wouldn't be. First off, I want, of course I won't want none of my kids to you know what I'm saying be in the same sex relationships, but if it happened, it happened. I'm gonna <coughs> I'm support them because that's my family. I ain't gonna sit here and be like, man, fuck them. I'm not talking to them no more. I'll be a little hurt, but it's yeah. what it is. That's the way it look. 
But yeah, I'm not, you can't cut them off. Yeah, I'm not gonna promote like my son or my daughter taking Christmas pictures with they with they person. I, even if my son was with a girl and they taking Christmas pictures at 15, 16, I'm not posting that shit on social media. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Young motherfucker, y'all young, get y'all motherfuckers little ass on. So especially if they in the same sex relationship, I ain't about to sit here and post like, look at my son, look at my daughter they, with their girlfriend or with their boyfriend and shit like. Yeah. And I was I was like, damn, they they accept. Of course they accepting it, but they like, I don't know. It was just weird to me seeing that they had their daughter out there like that. Man, it's like they, they push a lot Some of people shit are proud of that. I mean, yeah, it, it, I guess that's okay, but I just like, I don't know. I don't know. Even with, that's like, even my son, he got a little girlfriend. I'm not about to post them two. If they go to movies, I ain't about to post them two together. They some young niggas. Like, so yeah. it, it ain't enough for me to be posting about, look at my son and his girlfriend. Like, nigga, no. That nigga, hey, go ahead, have fun, nigga. I talk to my son all the time, like, dog, listen, with this sex shit, about to get serious, dog. You 15, nah. Nigga, that shit gonna come, so I think you should just wait, dog. Cause once you get some, once you get some ass, nigga, it's gonna, it's like drugs, nigga. Like, you gonna be addicted. Now you, I just real quick, I just wanna comment. You write about the the picture shit, like yeah. when we was coming up the first time you seen somebody's kid with they with their girlfriend. Yeah. On prime, prime picture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. yeah, so yeah. I'm not, I ain't about to sit here and be putting that shit out there like, nigga. Oh, yeah. this is my son and his girlfriend. Look at him, like, yeah. nah, nigga. That's, my son got a little girlfriend. He'll tell yeah. you about it. He'll yeah. show you a picture of her, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? But in the back back then, though, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing to promote for real. It was like whatever went on in your house was kind of was like a standard. Mm-hmm. And most households were going in our houses in our house. So if you got a little girlfriend, you got a little boyfriend, they coming by here, the whole family. Some of us may know your aunt, may know your close aunt, maybe your uncle, your little cousin. Mm-hmm. Everybody in your don't know your business. Now social media get everybody in your business sure. of any kind. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't barely post. First of all, I don't post my daughter really at all yeah. on my page. But I'm definitely not going to post her relationship. Yeah. Because that ain't for me to post shit at this point she can post it herself that's what she feel like doing mm-hmm. i just i don't i don't know why people now, feel like they need to share everything about their now, life i know your daughter is uh is young and she ain't get to that, that i mean of course you probably had those conversations about boys and stuff but yeah the whole sex thing she ain't nowhere near that with your son though our sons is like older mm-hmm. like do you be talking about that John? like nigga because my son like listen nigga like it's gonna be there bro like shit <clears> and these little girls is a lot harder than they was when we like they loose the last time um, we didn't have a conversation like in that vicinity was like, you know what I'm saying? Feel like, you know what I'm saying? Found out them little niggas was watching porn and shit. Yeah. So I'm just like, y'all niggas ain't ready. You yeah. feel me? But mm-hmm. time flew. Like, I'm not going to even lie. Like, they could probably be. Uh, how old is your son? Non virgins no more. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I probably already I, have I feel like I'm using the wrong word. Yeah. Your oldest son yeah, about that's, what? That's what I'm trying how to say. How old is your oldest son? Like 16? Hell no. They 17 and 15. Oh, yeah. shit. So, yeah, so 17 year old, he about to hit that age. Yes. They, shit, both of them, may, maybe could. I don't, I don't know. How old yeah. was you? Oh, uh, I was either 15 or 16. I was 15. So, oh, shit. 15. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I was 17. Seventeen. Yeah, I was a little old. Yeah, I mean, and, and now like they, they, they in that. that. They in that. Yeah, they younger than that. So they in there. So that goes back to seeing like what we talked about first, like as far as like really like investing into them, like see what's really going on in their mind and shit. Because mm-hmm. it's like part of part of me want to know, but it's like then you don't want to know. Yeah. Like, but like, like, you need to know. I do want to check my son messages sometimes, but I don't that want too. to. The messages, the search history, yeah. YouTube search history. I be on that. All that shit. Man. Yeah. You want to you wanna know that shit. Yeah. But it's like, if you see some shit you ain't ready for, it's going to fuck you up. Yeah, dog. Or you the cannot same time, see it and not acknowledge it and let them fuck them up. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like that's a K-22. So I saw my, my son, dog. I never told him. shit moving forward. And he don't watch my show and shit, but I saw this one. I'm going through his phone, and then he had a, a girl twerking. It was like the, it was, she was naked, but it was a girl from my basketball team. Uh-huh. I'm like, dog, what the fuck, dog? Yeah. But I just told my wife, like, I ain't going to say shit. It wasn't a naked picture. But... I tell my son all the time, dog, don't be sending your piece around. Don't be accepting. Yeah, don't be doing that. Don't be, ha- don't don't be doing what? Sending send your pictures piece around. Of your dick and shit. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. what. I thought you said don't be sending piece around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, don't send your piece around. And I'm like, don't be, I'm like, man, I'm like, nigga, don't even have a girl send you no shit, dog, because you don't want, imagine if her dad looked through her phone. I see, and she and you and son some titties to, to, to your ass and shit. Now he mad. Now it's a, it's a problem with me and him, because. A real dad. Then, then then like, nigga dad. You gotta think they 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 are young and, and they kids, so they 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 mentality ain't there. So if Johnny get a picture from Jessica, Johnny he gonna show Terry, he gonna show Larry, he, he gonna show Bobby, he gonna show everybody, and and, Bob, and all three of them gonna show the people now that picture all around. Now imagine you, you weren't trying to be deceitful or her sending you a picture. You were trying to show your homeboys and your homeboy yeah, put that shit yeah, out yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. and not this girl is embarrassed. And what the little girl go do? Commit yeah. suicide. 
Yeah, it could get happen. to that too. That's what's that, going. That's, people, are, that's crazy. How many people be committing suicide? Now. Hell yeah, but I be, I be telling my dog, son, you can wait, dog. Like this, this, this. this, now, this and I, that's the only thing I tell my. Just why you not ready? You may think you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Your little meat might get hard. Like just leave that little <laughs> motherfucker alone, <on>, dog. <laughs> Go ahead and yank that little motherfucker a little bit. No, don't even do that, cause then you gonna get addicted. It's like oh, that's yeah. like that's like the drug. Like, oh, you done yanked that motherfucker. Yeah. Then this time you yanked it a little more. Then this time you done yanked it a little more. Now something came out. Oh, that shit felt good. Hey, now then you gonna think hey, like, then you watch porn. Like, hold on. So I ain't gotta yank my shit. I could put it in her, yeah. and I'm gonna get that feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cause you chase that feeling for real, nigga. That first yank, nigga, you be like, what nigga, the that's fuck? like a, that shit to this day. That shit is like. <laughs> The first crack high, you know how they say. The, I ain't never smoked high. crack, but they say the first time you smoke crack is the best high, and that's how people keep smoking crack because they want that high again. Chasing the that's same high. That's how it is with, with like that nut. It's like, oh, I want to bust that nut again. <laughs> I'm gonna bust that nut again. <laughs> nigga been chasing that 14 year old nut for <laughs> nigga get that feeling. Nigga lid went crazy. Nigga didn't that feeling toy because you was in the bathroom and yanking, and you didn't want nobody to see you <laughs> in the bathroom and yank, nigga. And then you use a towel real quick to wipe it off. And then you wanted to throw a towel in the living room. I mean, in the bathroom. What the fuck I'm talking about? Though? I don't know. I'm telling the personal story. Right. Personal story. Hey, one thing I never understood, like in the movies, like what the fuck niggas be doing with socks? Like who the fuck jack off with a no, sock? I never knew that's a white shit. Put the or nut tissue. In the sock. No, nigga, the nut go in the toilet when you get done jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> what if you was laying in the bed and did it and it was a Man, sock right there? Man, niggas do not supposed to lay that's down and jack off on their back. You just a bed like. You stand up. Yank it off. Hey, you. No. It's two places you can do it. Motherfucker standing over the toilet or in the shower, so it's easy cleanup. Bomb. We ain't about to lay in the bed on some Tyree shit, play slow jams and yank our. No, we not sitting, sitting them what if you just sitting in the bed and you just start doing it. Mm -mm. Just it like don't this, work. it's like I'll sitting be, up in the bed. You nope. gotta be laying in the bed. I be sitting in the bed, browsing porno shit. And you get up and go to the toilet. Bingo. <laughs> everybody, for one, for one. everybody not about look, to do that. Look, listen, you gotta get up to go get lotion or Vaseline. <laughs> Who just keep that sitting in their room and on their bed? Do you have to have lotion or Vaseline? Yeah, you can't jack off. You go, all right, you want your dick to have carpet burns? Yeah. I don't know. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> and you can't, you can't get a spit. You can't, you can't jack off with your shit. shit. <laughs> That's some old trucker, trucker stop shit. You fucking spitting your hands and you fucking rubbing on her twice. So get this pussy. I'm going to hey, take you know, it, Nancy. <laughs> you know what's the overrated dog that I never did, dog? I, I be looking like, dog, what? I don't see no pleasure in that where niggas be fucking titties. I titty fucked before. I ain't <laughs> come from it, but it's, sometimes something just something to do like, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> fuck the fuck. <laughs> hey, I, I want to fuck in a sex swing. Not me getting a sex swing, but her in a sex swing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's different kinds. It's three. I don't want the it's kind. Three. I don't want the kind of going in the back of the door. Okay. It's a kind that's like a stand you could you could put up because I can't have no sex swing in here. Then the kids come over like, Daddy, what's up? Yeah. Like in that movie, uh, what is it? Bad, uh, bad boys or bad guys or some shit yeah. like that? What? Good boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, yeah, a little yeah, kid yeah, swing yeah, and yeah, they yeah. motherfucking pair of sex swing and shit. Hell yeah. It's that kind of come from the ceiling. That's the best kind. From what I seen, then it's so like, like a kind of like a stand, like how this little camera with the tripod, some shit like that. That's the kind I would get, so I can put that bitch up. But yeah. I definitely, you know what I'm saying, want to hit my girl in a sex swing, all type of crazy ways, do some Duh. crazy acrobatic Barnum and Bailey's soul circus fucking, man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga do a fucking cartwheel flip it, but like. No, I ain't trying to go. Hey, them first. Jamaican niggas be wildin'. Them niggas be standing on the top rope. And a girl be laying there, these niggas fucking jump like 30,000 feet. Macho, nigga, macho man that bitch like Like, nigga, you gonna break your dick and you gonna break her pussy. No, home, ain't boy. nobody finna do all that. No, no I'm not finna have no, all that. No, no, no. Talk, we all talking about cartwheels and shit, no. <clears throat> we talking about kids, man, and we talking about, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, dog. It's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's that time of the year, man. It's Christmas, man. Give me a Christmas memory of yours. It could be adult or a child. As an adult, though, this is why I knew my Texas uh, relationship wasn't gonna, uh, was over. What? I didn't get shit for Christmas. Oh. So we, our tradition was we go to my brother's house and we open up the gifts over there and shit. Cause okay. we know we not in Detroit, so you know what I'm saying? We start a tradition with my brother, my big brother. Uh -huh. So we went over there, me and my little brother, uh -huh. um, the girl, uh -huh. and little shy. So I, we put all the gifts over at my brother's house and shit, put the uh -huh. names on. So we over there at that girl work, bam, we, we open the gifts. So my brother, he, my big brother opened a ball of gifts. His wife got him. Mm -hmm. He got a whole bunch of shit. Detroit Lions, this, Detroit Lions, that. Mm -hmm. A watch. This different shit. I'm like, oh, shit, that's what's up, dog. This mm -hmm. shit, man. So, so then my brother, all the kids open their shit up. So then I got her a little something, but nigga, did I get something? Nope. Went home. 
Did I get anything cooked? Nope. <laughs> I had to go to the store, bro. I never forget. I bought some chicken breasts and some fucking uh, some mashed potatoes, nigga. A little instant mashed potatoes. Yeah. That was my Christmas dinner, dog. I, th- I think I called you or something, but I'm like, yeah, this shit is a wrap. Nigga, I knew it was a wrap, but nigga. It so was you a- decided that it was over because of that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you broke up with her? Hell yeah. Oh. And But then we had to finish. What if she didn't have no money? No, she had money. She could have made away. No, she had money. And you even, <clears throat> hold on. It, that's cool, cause I ain't been me and my me and my wife right now. Nigga, we been in a situation where we, hey, look, we ain't doing the gift shit. We both, make, we gonna make sure the kids good though. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Now me and See, you, y'all came to agreement. Yeah. And then a lot of times when you come to those agreements, you, both of y'all still break the shit. Like, yeah, we still do some shit. So you get them something yeah. like, I got you a new tie. Yeah, I got you yeah, some so, socks. I got you some boxers, yeah. pajamas, cologne. And, and that's how I be so, like, she be like, nigga, I got here go fifty dollars, nigga, go ahead do some shit. Like, nigga, but nigga, it was nothing, bro. So nigga, it's like, dog, this shit's a wrap. So it's gifts, your love language? No, it wasn't it wasn't that. It was just the fact that I knew a relationship was dead, was dying. Oh, you so you already fucking, was over it. I knew anyway. it was dying. That was it's, it's, it's not the yeah. fact, it's not the it's fact like, that like, it's like I said, like you ain't cook me no, no thought into Yeah, me. and you ain't cook me no You ain't think about me. You ain't cook me no dinner. That was the that was the nail in the car. You gonna cook me some dinner. Christmas. Oh, with y'all. We was grown. Okay. Twenty seven. Okay. That's grown as fuck. So my thing is, nigga, you ain't even come home. It's been times, nigga, I've been so broke. Like fuck, it, I'm about to make a dog ass meal real quick. Hey man, I can't, I can't do this shit. But here goes some, here goes some shit. I run your motherfucking little water, bad word, whatever, whatever. Just do some shit, mm. motherfucking, motherfucking, uh, shit, nigga. Eat some cool or something. You know what I'm saying? Anything like <laughs> you gonna make up for not getting that gift some type of way. But for you, it'd be like, nigga, I'm not getting no, you ain't getting no gift. You gotta cook your own dinner on Christmas, and nigga, like, I ain't, so that was like the nail in the coffin. Like I sure. said, because you said Cause y'all was already like breaking up. Slap in the face and ultimate fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 See, niggas different. We different. Yeah, like my and like don't 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 get me wrong. Uh-huh. The gifts don't mean that much. It gives me something, but if you can't do it, you can't do it. I understand yeah. that. I'm I'm more understandable because uh-huh. niggas shit. It's all good. But for you, just be like nigga, fuck that. Like, I'm like oh bitch, you whole ass nigga. Like yeah. And my and watch my brother get all this motherfucking shit from his wife. <laughs> Like how she gonna do that? Are you got me a Detroit Lions pajamas and I would've been happy. Yeah, it's simple shit. Just <laughs> something. Don't just leave me empty handed. Yeah, yeah. So what 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 what's the memory? And then on another note for my kid memory is I ain't had no money. Me and my uh me and my uh son and mom was broke as hell at the time. Uh-huh. I had forty dollars, fifty dollars. So I, I ran a uh uh family dollar. So I'm like, dog, I can't have my little nigga not open nothing up. Uh-huh. He like Three years old. Ran a family dollar. Huh. Got him a basketball around for like twenty dollars. Got him a whole bunch of little bullshit toys in. Mm. Bam, he was good. Mm. Nigga play on that motherfucker rim for a and whole I, I, had, I had one of those moments like motherfucker was down bad, but you still made it happen. Now I remember uh going to Walgreens and motherfucker getting a whole bunch of toys, like hell yeah. Like they they little at the time. Yeah. So but it's They just end like, up playing with the boxes and shit. Really kids do. They be pleased with anything. It's easy to please. No, for kids. sure. Yeah, like my daughter, I got her yeah. like five toys. She just needs something to open up, nigga. She don't need shit. She my want. my best Christmas memories, man, is when I was a kid going over my grandma's house. Cause I remember every year we would go over there, and it was like that was when kids had a play. So all the kids would either be in my auntie mm-hmm. room, cause she still lived with my grandma at the time, or we'd be in the front hall. And the front hallway was where the kids was at, and all the adults would be in the dining room playing cards or mm-hmm. eating and drinking or whatever. And the big kids always went upstairs. Hell yeah. And that's kind of how it was, and so. Like, I remember every year getting a, a gift from all my uncles and aunts. Like, they always uh, always bought us stuff. So I would get, like, an outfit from my grandma, outfit from my auntie. My uncle would always buy me, like, some name brand. Like, he would buy me, like, a, like a little Versace purse or something. That's when I started liking name brand stuff. Like, at a real young age, like, he always did stuff like that. And then my aunt Stevie would always give us gift cards or um, gift certificates is what they was called at the time for Hudson's. Yeah. And so Hudson's she would give us back. Hudson's. I'm like, I'm going to Hudson. I'm about to go get me some Hudson's. gas. What's, people ain't going to know what that is. It's Macy's. Like, it's Macy's. But when I was a little kid, it was Hudson's. Me and they tried to take it to Marshall Fields. Hell yeah. That was whack. Yeah. And so we would go and I was like, and we would just be all together and we all ate and which is good vibes all sure. around. Hell so. Yeah. Them was yeah. the best memories. Hell yeah, dog. That's some good shit. I mean, my Christmas has always been lit. I ain't going to lie. Adult, child. So it's mm-hmm. hard to try to pinpoint mm-hmm. one in particular. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, shit always been motherfucking. Like I said, blessed. Like, yeah. my motherfucking OG and my old dude made sure our Christmases was motherfucking nigga boing, boing, boing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Even uh, when, my, when they separated, my OG still made sure our shit was on point. Yeah. So that's why I be on this shit, nigga. I make sure my shreddy shit on point. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, I. I can't think of one. Like, I just like giving like my kids the gifts and see they be happy. 
Like, it's that shit the, make yeah. me excited. Yeah, like, make it ain't got shit to do with me. Yeah. Like, dog, like tomorrow, like, my, like I said, my son gonna be his mom for Christmas. My son's birthday tomorrow, so I'm giving all that shit tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And like when you see that that motherfucking gang system, he'll be hype as hell. Yeah. Now I can think of a petty moment. If, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead, what is it? All right, boom. <laughs> Uh, when me and they mama had separated and shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that Christmas year, boy, I, I made sure I went hard. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, y'all can go over there, you know what I'm saying, spend Christmas with your mama, they come over here, and my mom, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to show the fuck out. I did, I did go hard on them, but I'm thinking like, you know what I'm saying, that's some petty ass yeah. boy shit. <laughs> if you had to prove a point, like, yeah, I'm about yeah, to go like hard. That, that shit was like, bad. this year, my daughter wrote her Christmas list, her daddy got everything on this. I seen boxes at the door, he coming in the house, he taking stuff down to the basement. I said, well, what do she need left? What's left that she need? Because she only wrote like about 12 things on her list. She always liked this. She know exactly what she want. Yeah. And she write on the list. And so he bought everything. He like, I'm like, well, what else do she need? I, I bought her like two things. I was like, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in no sure. competition with him. Not no day. Yeah, Guess yeah. what? You like to spend your money fast and you like to make your daughter happy with what with money. And I'm fine with that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit back and smile. Yeah, <laughs> Keep right. my money in my pocket. <laughs> I ain't got like, no problem Oh, you problem got that baby? It. Oh, Aww, baby. Oh, because she yeah. thinks Santa brought the shit anyway. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, she still believe in Santa Claus? No, she don't. I told she her. She do, but I don't. I told her last year. Like, she do and she don't. Like, last like, you know, time my daughter, she do, but she don't. She, like, she want to believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got an elf on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? Moving around every day. She, like, think that's so exciting. So even if she think it's fake, it's, it's exciting yeah, to her. Yeah. So my, I just let her have her moment. My son, fine. He still believe in it. Yeah. I remember uh, my oldest son, we was in the car one time. He was like in fifth grade or something. Uh, we were listening to uh, I think it was G Herbal. And uh -huh. he was like, Yeah, it's like, on, on a song, he was talking. He was like, Yeah, it's like, when you find out Santa Claus ain't real. <laughs> and my son looked at me and like, <laughs> like, Damn, I, I didn't know that part was going to come on the song. But he kind of knew, but it was like the stamp right there and shit. So. How old is he? Oh, he old as hell now. By the time he's like ten. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah. That nigga said he old as hell. Not like the nigga in his forties. <laughs> this nigga shot crazy, man. Nah. Nah, Let me know. have another shot. Shit, would you? Well, Same other. thing. Yeah. Shit, yeah. you probably could kill that. As y'all can see, we on location, man. Shit, I don't... Uh, thanks for the hospitality and cheese. Yes, like, thank you. Um, you know, what I'm saying the cheese, thank you. the cheese bar and shit. But I am jealous of this nigga hairline and shit, dog. This nigga <laughs> still got his hey, shit, dog. This ain't no Steve Harvey shit either. Hey, this shit, <laughs> real deal. Real deal. That nigga went from. Your shit. dad probably still got hair. Uh, shit. In his casket, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I no, you good. Yeah, no. I was just trying to make light of the situation. <laughs> no, my pops did have good. My, my daddy had. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never read the Bible, but they said... You never read the Bible at all? No, no I never did. Never? Not a word? No, I used to keep it in my pocket. <laughs> you never read one word out the Bible? No, I ain't... Look. We about to change that today. That nigga said... Oh, no. You about to cut the Bible on? Don't do that right now. <laughs> Why you just... I'm about to make you read the, the verse of the day, because you ain't going to never be... Wrong, never, like, I can't read that... Yeah, I might read out loud. That, that, so. not, no, I can read out loud, but I can't read Read the, this. Okay. Oh... See, that's the Psalms 47. See, see, look, this, 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 this will fuck me up, like, when I read that, All right, like... I'll put it on the NLT, then. What that mean? What that that mean it's going to be an easier translation to read. Because, look... Here we go. Okay, Sleep. boom. I'm going to read it, but the reason to fuck me up, like, <laughs> I can't really get in tune with that thou shall if not if... If, if, they, if. That's the KJV. This is the no, NLT. We, this is the, this different okay, versions but this of the Bible. Says, Come, everyone. Clap your hands. Shout to God with joyful praise. Bam! That's Psalms what? 47. Psalms 47. See, so you read the Bible today. Here, you read. Now you get your turn. Well, I got to say the same thing. Same thing. Come, everyone. Clap your hands. Shout to God with joyful praise. And what's that? Psalms what? Oh, 47. Okay. Yes. Look at that. Look, yeah. we, we made breakthrough today. Man, you crazy. Oh, yeah. Pray, pray, praise the Lord. Period. Chase Franklin in the building. I ain't never read the Bible in my life. Nah, I did. No. The KJV, though, it do be kind of hard to read. What the KJV stand for? The King James Version. Oh. The New Living Translation is what you just read, which is the NLT. If you read the NLT... So go back, go back to the... Um, you said NFT? NL. Okay. <laughs> NLT. Oh, oh, these letters. We talking about letters confused. So go go, go to the... um. To the KJV version? Yeah, the, the motherfucking, the, not the remix. Okay. <laughs> not the remix. So the... the let, me, let me try to see the that. The King James Version okay. says... Um, oh, me, clap your... You want me to read it? Go ahead. There we go. <laughs> oh, clap... Oh, no. Oh, clap your hands. All ye people shout unto God with the voice of triumph. See that, like that. All ye hands oh, and ye, ye thus and thou. I'm thinking, when I see ye, I'm thinking Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. It's uh, ye. That mean you. Yeah, so forgot, is that like a song? What, no, it's not what, a song. No, no it's not. Okay, a psalm is technically a song. No, I yes, said a song. The, David wrote the book of songs, no, and they are that, songs to God. David, yeah, talking about the nigga that fought Goliath? Correct. No, for, what about, uh, see, I know no, some I, shit. Okay, okay. No, it was something else. Um, Damn. 
What? I don't know, but praise the Lord. But, um... <laughs> I don't know, praise the Lord. Yeah. We gotta talk about versus battles and something, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. We, we get to the end, man. Uh, we get to the goddamn me. end. And speaking of versus battle, before uh, we get to any, this... Uh, I get my own. I do my own. This is a shot versus A by addition. Uh, uh, the versus battle. I give okay. y'all. I give y'all two people. It could be. It could be rap. It could be food. It could be whatever. Y'all tell me who will win. Okay. All right. Okay. First one gonna be juvenile versus mystical. Who will who, win? Who will win? That you with that big body beans, huh? That oh, you yeah. can't keep no lady because you keep yeah. bugging them friends, huh? Yeah. yeah. I, I agree. Juvenile. Okay. Usher versus Chris Brown. If you man. On the floor. No, no, no. Let I'll me shoot. know. I'm going with my nigga C. Brazy. Chris Brown got some jams. That might be a tie. All right, payroll versus Vezo. I don't know though. They music enough to say. Uh, oh, payroll all day. I go with motherfucker payroll, but I ain't really. I fuck with Detroit rappers, but them not two of the niggas like that I'm gonna listen to heavily. But if I'ma listen to one of them niggas over the other, I'd pick payroll. All right, yo. Both of them do their thing though. Shout out to both. I like I, I, the songs I've heard. I like both. I can't say one better than another. But but as of lately. That nigga, uh, Bezo been going like oh, stupid going fucking crazy. hard. He been going crazy. That nigga, like, when he went to jail, it kind of killed this shit. And then, like, a couple of Detroit niggas kind of got on, got above him. Yeah. But then it's like, now nah, that nigga, he, he coming back with a vengeance. Yeah. He got some shit. Now, um, this is versus. Remember, it's versus. Your okay. kids, why they young or your kids, why they old? Your I kids don't know. Young. I why don't they young, know. man? Because, like, them times are just so yeah. My baby ain't get old yet. Yeah. Like, when your kids, why she was, how was she she is now versus when she was a baby? Yeah. Now. Definitely now, easy. All yes. Right. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. That's my oh, favorite. Damn. I say Christmas because you can you can eat good still and then you can enjoy it with your kids. First of all, I gotta give a thanks for living. Cop a bird in July, turn it to a Thanksgiving <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Summertime gear versus wintertime gear. Fall. Summer. Summertime gear. I would have said fall, but that wasn't an option. But well, fall, 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 time gear. Okay, fall, fall is the best yeah. because yeah. fall you 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 can bring out everything. You can bring out your hoodies. Yeah. You can bring out your Jill. motherfucking shorts. Your leathers, your yeah. coats, your wool. Summer your, is just all boots, nigga shorts and white fabrics. beaters. Yeah, yeah. Summer, um, good times versus San Francisco. Good times. San Francisco for me. Um, I like both of them. I got a tie. Oh, you bad. First Prince versus You got a tie, you got a drink. If you can't pick one, you got a drink. Oh, oh that's in the rule? Oh, but shit. We, we winging this motherfucker. First Prince versus Martin. 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 Mike, Mike Epps versus Kevin Hart stand up. Mike Epps. Kevin Hart. Mike Epps versus Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, yeah. Uh, black comedy versus white comedy. Black. White. Black comedy, fucking hands down, and I'm not racist. I like super bad. I like I like those white comedies though. For some reason, they just way funny. So you don't like House Party? You I don't like, like Friday. I, no, I you, love white comedy. Don't get me twisted. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, if I had to choose, it's like I can tell you I like both. But if I pick in a comedy, that's what I'm saying. So if yeah. a motherfucker like, hey, you want to watch Friday? You want to watch Super Bad? Right, I'm gonna go Friday. I'm gonna go Friday. We watch Friday. 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 All right, all right, black yeah. Comedy. Okay. E forty versus Master P. Master, Master P. P. Joe Button versus Gilly. 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 Joe Button, he is old. Don't go Joe Button. I don't like Joe. He cool, but I don't like how he be trying to like talk like he just this old sophisticated professor ass nigga. Like, bro, cut that okay, shit. Okay, you now versus you ten years ago. Me now. Me now. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I was fucked up then. I'm still fucked up now, but I'm <laughs> less fucked up than I was back then. Plus, I know more. Than I Man, if more. I knew what I know now, then yeah. oh, be, I would have yeah, said yeah. me then. Now, the um, the last time we was on this show together. That's it. it? Oh yeah, for my shit. You you you, you, oh, you throw one. You, uh, Michael Jackson. Fun. Oh, Michael Jackson versus Prince. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. All right, old school, R and B versus new school. Old school. Old school. Triumphs. Old school R and B triumphs rap. Tem Temptations versus new edition. New edition. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm Damn. about to contradict myself in my last statement, but new edition. Cause yeah, new edition probably is the best group ever. Ever R&B group ever. That's going there. Who gonna be? Who gonna? Who better new edition? I mean, I haven't really decided, but that's saying a lot. New edition. I don't know about that. I it's been a lot edition, of groups. Though, I ain't gonna lie to you. The, I, I the dramatics. Right. The five heartbeats. <laughs> it was <in> a <laughs> Five Heartbeats, five Heartbeats movie versus the Temptation movie. Five Heartbeats. That's a that's a cold ass movie. Mm -hmm. That's my top five. I, I gotta go with Temptations. Temptations. All right. Temptations. You know, was you good. know it's a slept on movie though. What? what? Meteor Man. 
Hell yeah. That was a <laughs> super slap. You laughing no. here, man. This shit, hey, dog. Blank, you you hey, tripping. Black man, too. I remember y'all sleeping on my nigga Robert Towns. No, blank man, too. <laughs> First of all, I want to Blank man versus that. meteor man. I'm going blank man. Meteor man. As a funny? Oh, man. I think a no. meteor man went against the GDs. All right. <laughs> right. The G- what's the GD? They didn't let the, the GDs disciples. in the dope. The game. Oh, the, game the game members in the school. The Golden Lords. Hell yeah. The Golden Lords. Y'all crazy. Hey. That shit was the man. Meteor Man was that shit, dog. I fuck with that. Hitting from the back, or she, or she ride you. She ride me. That's my favorite position. Yeah. Yeah. My nigga turned to the. <laughs> hey, he turned to the porno man. <laughs> Uncle Shaw. That's the best way to do it. Period. Probably is. But all right. How do you say best way to do it? What What's your go to thing to like not like like like, like nigga? Oh, damn, I don't want to come quick. Mine's is like, nigga, I just, me and my wife, we do, I suck on some teas. If I know I'm about to come quick, if I want to last a little bit, let me suck on some teas so I can get my mind off of, you know Man, that's like when you in that NASCAR 500 <laughs> like, race, Like, for real, the hell, the hell like a motherfucker, he's like, fuck, I'm going to suck some teas. Yeah, I'm, like I'm, you I'm, in I'm, that I'm, NASCAR 500 <laughs> race and shit, you got to pull over to the side of the road, get your tires changed and shit. So, like, nigga, you feel that motherfucking skeet about the motherfucker shoot out that volcano, nigga, you got to motherfucking slow that motherfucker shit down. So, you yeah. either stop. And you motherfucking like do some other show, you do hit them little slow ass Jamaican strokes. But if that shit still like oh it's building up. How like you, you gonna said, do that if she on top of you? See, like, okay, when I'm being raw, I could control that shit. I could just like motherfucking rap some songs, and control my nut. But it's oh, like, you have to rap songs. If I'm, if I'm on if I'm on top, uh-huh. then it's like it's all on me, cause I'm stroking. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like, boom, you try to go to Pound Town. Oh, you shit building up. Like, Damn, let me slow it down. <laughs> but you got to hit the remix. You can't just do Pound one thing time. the whole way through. No, you got you yeah, that, that, that's the go to, too. Like, you nigga, you switch. Like, all right, let's, let's switch, let's switch, let's switch. You, you know, you know what you should have said? You should have said, being raw or her laying on her side, side. hitting it from the back a little bit. Like that side. Now, see, that's, that's, a, that's a good competition right there. Yeah. Because man. that side action, especially in the morning when the juice is marinated. And Juice like, is marinated. Yeah, you ain't got work like, so hard. Like, they not doing that all day. But they really marinate the morning. Like. But from the back, that's always classic because it's like, you can motherfucking, motherfucking, you can, because you can hit from the back so many ways. And then another thing is like, I think when, she, like, when she throwing that shit back, and it's like, you just watching that motherfucker wobble on you. Like, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> but see, we both lazy. I see, I think we we lazy now. So that side action is lazy for both of us. We ain't got to do so much work. She on her side, I'm on my side. So it's like, it's kind of light work. Yeah, you picture a girl up. And then what? Like, like, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> pick up and smash. Like, like, what I'm do you mean, you, y'all I'm lazy. lazy? So y'all, that's what y'all that's, like. I mean, y'all, no, have to, said, y'all lazy doing well, all not, the time. No, not all the time. But that's like a lazy good. That's a good feeling. But yeah. it's like it's like it's less work on your side. No, like some like like it's sometimes spread them like you motherfucker you spread motherfucking them cheeks. you 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 hit it with the motherfucking WWF sex. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like. Okay, it's about to be good, but we ain't finna do all that extra shit. Like, I remember, you know her, uh, uh, see, she gonna get mad. She don't watch this shit like that. But on her birthday, like nigga, like we was in the room and John, nigga. I remember I got smashed on her. I was drooling, like I like, got some her back. Like, goddamn. <laughs> he was damn. Damn, we got good to him. We got the drooling. So you have you have a uh, you have a hit her on the wall. Like what? Like, like, like talk to me about it. Like motherfucking, she on oh. the wall. Like with her motherfucking hands, got her see, ass tooted out. You kind of like dip down and so, dive so, up. See and the, hit thing her. With, the thing about it, like. You can get crazy, but then, like, all right, this is a funny story right here, dog. We kind of went crazy a little bit, and then my son walked in like, Mom, what's wrong with you? I can't hear you. She, he was like, I heard you That's making this. That's you can't smash it with the kids around. Dog, I was like. I know you kids- got a lock on your door. You got kids in your house, you got to have a lock on your oh, door. Oh, not this new crib. We ain't got no lock. Shit. But see, lock. he was done, and he's like, Mom, you okay? Like, because uh, she was in bathroom. <laughs> we were rolling, dog. Like, I heard you, Mom. You okay? And like my son was gone that night. So you have, you, y'all have water sex before? I don't know if we talked about sex, that. Water sex? What's that like in the shower? Or yeah, in or the in shower. The pool? I mean, in the oh yeah, yeah all that. The shower, yeah. I don't think it's nowhere I haven't had sex at. Like nowhere, like in life. This nigga man. <laughs> like it'd be anywhere, like no problem. <laughs> no, like water sex cool, but it's like, like I ain't, it ain't really my thing because it's like it, it like be fucking up the friction type shit. Yeah. Like I prefer to have like. I don't know. I don't, I don't mind it. I mean, you, it's, it's something to do, but it's like, <laughs> hey, we about to fuck in the tub. Rub a dub dub. No, you don't want to. It don't be like that. It don't have to be like that. Like, I hate anything that's planned anyway. It just have to happen like that randomly. Like, oh, oh you about to get in the shower? Me, I'm about to get in the shower with you. Like, if you just in there, you just call them in there, it just happens. Like, I don't know that it need to be planned out. But talking even if it no is, so what? Sex. Shit. Both. Uh, sometimes you don't want to buy a serious shit. Sometimes I'm not a talker. Talk. That's boring. I'm not talking. You don't talk at all? 
I mean, he said a little bit, but I'm not like, who, 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 who dick is this? Who, who dick is this? this? Like, like, this, it, it, I'm, it, this your dick right here. <laughs> like, this my pussy. Like, I, it just like, I'm not. <laughs> that don't have to be all you say. Hey, you can dick. say a lot of stuff. Hey. He's obviously hey. not comfortable with that. Hey. Hey. This your dick. You love this dick. You don't even know how to say Who dick is this? No. <laughs> all right, baby. All right. This, like, I'm about to talk like hey, shit. Shy is enough for shy. I'm not like, I think like, sometimes when you when you in a moment, man, you like, you just get that inner porno voice, you just be talking shit. No, I don't know. Shit talking, it, it, I don't know. I like, I'm a, talk. like, like in Hooper, I was a quiet killer. That's what your, that's your thing. That's your judge. Yeah, just quiet, okay. just He's a quieter. Shit. Now, you, 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 you can say something, but I, <laughs> I ain't about to be like, God damn, girl, how you like that? Got a pop I wish shit. a man would say, God damn, girl, how you like yeah, that? Ain't nobody ever said that to me in my life. You want this? No. You want no. some more? No, you gotta, All right, you, that's okay. You, let's go again. Even, even if you like, like you don't want to overdo it, that's what you got to say something. In my mind, like, in my mind, yeah, come on, If you on, think yeah. that in your mind, yeah, like, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, on that dick, yeah, let that shit out. Put, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might say, yeah, come on, come on, do that, but I ain't about to be like, yeah, girl. You can say whatever you want to say. You gotta say that every five seconds, yeah, exactly. like. You, absolutely, you can say exactly You can, you can say you anything say. you want to say. It don't have to just be exactly about like, that. Like, we not quiet. Like, the best I'm thing to quiet. tell somebody while you having sex with them is that, that how much you love them. Because that getting somebody here, even if you oh, don't Oh, yeah, now we ain't say that, like, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that, yeah. It's like you, you know making sweet love to them, telling them that you love them and shit. You be lying. That shit be kind of cool. I said that, though, a couple times, but I'm back like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you, girl. How you feel? No, you can't tell girls that, I guess. I guess that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, but you know. okay, come on. Nah, man. Fuck it, tell him you love him. Yeah. Watch, watch, it's gonna change everything. We ain't drunk a whole bunch of these motherfucking uh, green, green tea shots and shit. Com <laughs> uh, compliments to the uh, to the homeowner, <laughs> the bar owner. <laughs> Why nigga cheese dog? Well, all the this drinks in the good, back. Man. It's almost, listen, man. We ain't even tap into none of that because we had some pre made no, green yeah, tea I'm shots good. and shit. I did, I tapped into well, green yeah, I had yeah. a couple shots. Now, we can't, man, we can't let this shit go another year without doing it, man. We're going to have to be more consistent a little bit, talk some shit, man. That's up to you, though. We both showed up every time you called us, didn't we, cheese? This nigga. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. This nigga, he motherfucking been on Howard Stern. He been on Breakfast Club. Duh. He been on Good Morning America. <laughs> So he came back down to fuck with us little people. So we grateful for you today, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, fuck his hip. No. I'm talking to shit, man. We, we gotta do this shit at least every, uh, once every two months or every, you know what I'm saying? However often we can no, do it. No, but like you were saying, like, motherfuckers really do be having, like, we didn't, we didn't schedule, we scheduled this shit back in uh, October. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, something like that. Like, yeah. shit be happening yeah. is like, Shit, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be scheduled be conflicting and shit. Like, niggas really do be doing shit. Like, motherfuckers ain't just sitting around just <laughs> waiting I feel like we can do a, at least, like, maybe at least once every two months or once a month. Like, man, we we schedule, like, one day out of 30 days, we can figure it out. Hell yeah, man, we do that shit. We do that shit, man. And like I said, we in... I'm going to pick some topics next time, too. I'm going I'm I'm to text them, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, put this on we, the list and ask us about this. No, you, like I said, you just throw that shit out there when we on there and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think this is the most personal. We have personalist. That's the real word. Personalist. Fuck it, and I just coined it. I'm about to sell that as an NFT. Right. That's more. I think this one of the most. What is an NFT? Yeah. I want somebody to explain that to me in real life. Like, is that like the virtual shit for real? It's NFTs. I, I'm still confused on yeah. NFTs and Bitcoin. That's why I'm not into neither one. But yeah, that's shit. like the future. You're on YouTube, I'm quite sure. I was on that bitch yesterday. I was looking at like it's just a way of selling some shit. Like I thought that the NFT was like some form of virtual currency or something. It is. Like. That too. That too. Because it's, it's it's a damn. I I just looked at this shit. I forgot what that bitch stand for. Fuck it. But yeah, man. You know what I'm saying. Episode 99. 99. Uh, next week, we'll do episode 99 100. 99 in the 2000. We're gonna it. Yeah, we're going to do this episode <laughs> 100. It's going to be live. It's going to be all about female entrepreneurs and shit. I wanted to show love to the females and shit. So, when you doing that? I'm doing that next Saturday. For real? Yeah. Uh, next Saturday, uh, we're going uh, to be on location again. So you won't see me at the regular studio until a week after that. We'll be in Oak Park, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to... Uh, Miles Wright, podcasting and shit, dog. Q Lewis over here and shit made it happen. So we're going to have five females that's doing something business-wise, podcast-wise, whatever. And then shit, we going to pop a bottle of motherfucking. We got some Bel Air and shit, make some mimosas and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're going to be fried. Do it like that. I'm going to tell them to celebrate me, but I'm going to celebrate them. You it's going to be a celebration of one another. Yeah, you know. You got it. You it's got beautiful. it. You Black got it. Lives Matter. Yeah, man. What y'all want to end this shit off with, man? What y'all want to say, man? Be true to yourself. <clears throat> <laughs> don't don't be a liar. Yeah, don't lie, no, no, you know, it's getting too close to the edge to still be lying. Be true to yourself. And um God bless, I don't know. Uh should we gonna 
Nigga, go ahead. It's on you, nigga. I don't know what to say. What? <laughs> what I want to end with. Oh, uh, shit. I don't fucking know shit. Shit, I'm gonna that shit, dog. My shit gonna be just, uh. What? I don't know, man. It's Christmas time, man. Don't stress over shit you can't get for your kids, man. Let them know. Let's keep it real, man. Shit, Santa Claus was struggling this year. But if your kid's old enough, you can tell them, like, look, money, you know, money yeah, ain't, yeah. Ain't, ain't, ain't what it is. Okay, yeah. I got my shit too. So man. don't stress, man. Make All shit right. happen that you can make happen. Don't try to make shit happen that can't happen. Feel me? That's a little freestyle, mm-hmm. man. Stop waiting till people die to give them their flowers. Appreciate people while they here. If you fucking love somebody and appreciate them, let them know that shit. Now, yes. while they can hear you, while they can see you, while they can feel you, while they can touch you, while they can taste you if y'all got that type of shit going on. But while they can thank you like, and know that you appreciate them. So they them. can feel acknowledged yeah. so they can know that shit. For sure, for sure, for sure. We're going to go out like that, man. Uh, be safe, man. Um, stay COVID free. Stay sucker free. Don't send your peace out to people because the peace going to go all over the place. Um, girls, don't send your titties out because they're going to show their man your titties if they look good. Um, if you're going to eat ass, eat ass, but don't eat everybody's ass. I know that's right. Uh, if you're going to talk, don't tell them who dick is this. This, 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 this. <laughs> Who pussy is this? <laughs> that's my pussy. Is this your dick right here? Say right. what you want to say when you want to say well, it. Yeah, yeah but then you say who dick is this. Nigga, my shit, baby, your only shit. you going to definitely say whatever they want to hear. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you if gang here, if they got bald head, um, don't mess it do rag up. Um, <laughs> wear the right condom. Don't try to sit here and psych yourself out. Please don't wear the wrong condom. Stop uh, doing that. That's a bad idea. Um, yeah, man. If you bald head, man, just appreciate it. If you got hair, man. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if, Ninety nine. Yeah. If you t- hey, man, wash. Like, watch that real good, too, man. Like, put that motherfucking, make sure a rag hit your legs and your toes, because this motherfucker was over our house who was related to us, and they took their socks off, and their feet were stinking. Um. <laughs> they gonna see this shit, and they gonna, who you talking about me? Damn. Oh, yeah, don't have no Reggie Bushes or that shit, though. Let them bushes go. Reggie um, Bushes. Uh, what else? Can you have hair on your chest or your titties or shit, though? If you got titties? Get- <laughs> we just talking that. <laughs> Man, last but not least, don't have no doo-doo stains in your drawers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make sure you wipe good, man. Wet wipes, to be exact. Thank you for joining us. Flushable wipes. (laughs) Thank y'all so much. Be blessed, man. Shout out to everybody. Motherfucker uh, Chase West. Cheesy motherfucker chat with no IG, no socials. And you got me, man. Oh, and by the way, the reason I'm dressed like this is I'm about to go motherfucker shoot. The motherfucker sequel to Squid Game. (laughs) It's called the Octopus Game. So everybody will get that cracking. So y'all be looking out for that on next flicks. Not Netflix, next flicks. Okay. Coming soon, Octopus Game, starring me. <laughs> and I'm going to win the prize, and it's going to be motherfucking $1,000 in food stamps on the bridge card. <laughs> okay, and, four, and, five, six. And we got to go ahead and finish, dog. You're about to get married, because Chase supposed to be in there. Because he was going to come over, and then we were going to act like we was about to mess around. But then I was going to get a phone call, and then the end was going to be like, dog. Do you still want to do that or no? Yeah, we got to finish that. All right. And then part two going to be, dog, you got knocked out by your st- uh, your son's stepdad. Okay. That's going to be. I got <laughs> whatever. It's whatever. So he going to be stepdad, dog. He going to knock my ass Who's going to be the stepdaddy? Who is he? Oh, you going to knock him out? I don't go shoot him either. Nigga, Mal- multi-task. Mal- 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 hold it. Nigga, anybody hold the camera, nigga, pee. <laughs> Angry man. Angry man, right. More money. <laughs> Definitely can get Monk to do it. So, yeah, this is the best podcast in the world, man. We just fucking around at the end. I know people going to be watching like, these niggas crazy. I am a little crazy. When you buzz, you say stupid shit. Y'all drunk? I ain't drunk. No. I this is a little bit. Y'all buzz? This is a little bit. A little I don't bit. think I am. Yeah, just, I ain't drunk. I don't feel thing. it, but then again, <laughs> camera <laughs> might show otherwise, but I feel like I'm. So, until next I time, I got to go. I got business handled. Peace out.